All right, we're about a minute early. Hello, hello. How are we doing, guys? Start in the stream. So, um, let's keep going. So we're, st we're still a little bit early. Give a, give us another minute before we start. I am trying to fix this stuff. I may get rid of the little small extracurricular activities tab. You know what? I think we will. I think we're going to get rid of that because I'm, I'm a little worried about adding that. try to fix this there we go that's a lot better oh uh, don't you agree guys that's a lot better much much better all right it's 1230 at least 1230 Eastern Eastern time how are we doing guys hello my name is fallen wolf and you are joining the wolf pack oh so uh a few quick things to a uh, few a few quick things on the checklist. One, I had thought about doing Chemo Coliseum, um, along with this game and the other two games. Uh, I felt like that was a little too much to do, cause Chemo Coliseum is kind of kind of long. One, and uh, that's a puzzle game, and I love me some I love me some Tetris, but I am not the best at Tetris-like games. Um, besides that. So I was like, no, no, let's let's go through with extracurricular activities because if I don't, I will never get finished with it. Um. Besides that, if uh, I now have, I finally fixed up my PayPal for donations. Um, if you really like my stuff and you you know you have a little money, you know you have a little extra money hanging around. Uh, you can feel free to donate to me. It, uh, it does help support the channel. Uh, all the money will go to buying newer games. Um, for the most part. Unless there's a, you know, emergency where I need to use money for other stuff. But, uh, just the money will m most times be used for actually buying and purchasing new games. Um, again, like I said, there are other visual novel games I have in mind to play on this channel. And not, you know, they're not all furry. Um, I have a few other ones I have on my wish list in mind. Um, and also... I, well, I'm not a coffee person, at least hot. I am an iced coffee person. So you are buying me a coffee, just not a hot coffee, because I love me some cold coffee. Uh, even in winter, I am that weirdo who will drink iced coffee in uh, winter, because I just love iced coffee and iced lattes. We're going to give about another about another minute uh, before we start the stream. But um, how is everybody doing today? I like feel like I should ask how everybody's doing today. I like to make sure that my babies are doing well. I, now, for, as for me, I've been doing pretty good today. I had off of work today. Um, had off of work today. Was very excited to keep going with the stream. I had a so much fun. I had so much fun uh, last stream. Like a whole bunch of fun last stream. I really loved it. It was nice to get back into streaming. I haven't streamed in about two, almost three months. Uh, last game I streamed was something to do with love which is a great game i uh i did have a few a few opinions a few recommendations for the game um if you want to know all of them feel free to watch the playlist it's not that long it's only three videos um i think they're about two hours a piece or close to two hours a piece but um that game was very fun i did like the world and among a few other things there were some issues i had with the game but um i feel like in the future that will get fixed and that is a game i will go back to after the issues are fixed i just felt like the uh issues with the game were um a little too obnoxious for me to really finish the game or uh, among other things made it a little hard to quote finish the game so there's that all right I think it's been a uh, I think it's been long enough we're gonna we're gonna keep going with uh, Spencer's route as you can see we're still doing Spencer um, so we're gonna load game I'm trying to remember where the last file was that I did. Uh, 
I believe it was... I believe it was this one. I think it was. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sudden music change. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. Tonight's the night for the event Spencer set up. Oh, um, also this stream will be about the same length as the last one, a little shorter. Uh, this one will probably be two hours even, maybe no smaller than an hour and a half, but it's not going to be that much as long as the last video. The last video was, uh, there was no issue. I love the length, but just I do have some things to do today, so I kind of have to put on the back burner for today. Can't be, a uh, you know, one day I do hope to be on, uh, you know, in the future. I'm not going to say F when this channel uh is monetized i do hope to finally be able to do long five six hour streams when i'm you know making money off the channel but uh i got a uh, few thousand subscribers to get before i can start doing monetization on this channel but uh i'm confident in it i think i can do it little still working on video editing skills among other things but i, I think we can do it and you guys uh help a lot so tonight's the night for the event spencer set up i wonder what he has planned I should check with Maria to see if she is going with him. Oh, uh, I hit a button. Oh, good, she's here. Oh, I like that shirt. I really like that shirt. Good afternoon, Mark. How are you today? I'm good. Looking forward to. I'm good. Looking forward to tonight. Are you going with me? Oh, that's right. The event you mentioned to me. Yes, I'll be going. Richard is going as well. He protested at first, but but said it was to help support you and your team, so he gave in. Great. I don't really know what's planned, but the team will certainly appreciate you showing up. I'm sure it'll be a good time. I was starting at 6 tonight, right? Yeah, do you know where it is? I do. There's a little tea shop over in that area that I like to visit, so it's in the perfect location. Oh, great then. If you don't mind, can I ride with you guys? Of course. There'll be plenty of room for you. Uh, I hear some weird music. I don't know what just happened. I guess it's an audio issue. Uh, excuse me for a moment, Maria. Spencer's call. Oh, that's his phone. I was like, I was like, what the hell happened? <laughs> I was like, oh no, what did, did I break the game already? We just started and I broke the game. I was really worried for a second. Oh man. Okay. That's, that's a, that's a big, big relief. In this video, I'll show you. Nope. Hold on, guys. Getting some technical issues. That will we will we will fix these technical issues. Don't you worry. Oh man. Yeah, that was that was a little worrisome. I was like, oh no, did I break the game? I was like, oh no, did I break the game? What did I do? Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay, okay, we're, we're good. We're good. Oh, that was a little worrisome. <clears throat> What's up, Spence? Hey, Mark. If you're free, can I come pick you up? I need some help setting things up for the event. Yeah, man, if you need me, I can help. I have no plans. Great, I'll be there in about ten minutes, then. Sounds good. That's fine, I'll see you soon. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Beep. Looks like I won't need a ride after all. Spencer is going to pick you up. Ooh. She's like, I smell scandal. Yeah, he said he needed some help setting things up, so I'll be leaving with him as soon as he gets here. Thanks anyway. Anytime, dear. Tell Spencer I said hi when he gets here. I've got some things to do before heading out later. Okay, I'll see you later. Th I'll see you later tonight, then, Maria. I'm just gonna go wait outside for him. Be safe, and I can't wait to see what's happening tonight. Spencer pulled up to the shelter not long. Oh, there you are. I thought somebody was watching the stream, and then I was like, I guess not. I'm surprised nobody has said anything yet. I mean, that's that that happens other times too. Like, I mean, that's it's not the first time. 
um, that something like that's happened. But um, welcome, welcome, Snake Lord. Hope you're enjoying the stream. You didn't miss too much. We're just getting started. Um, just explaining to people that um, just explaining that uh, I decided to keep going with extracurricular activities. Um, I did think about doing Camo, chemo, Camo, Coliseum. Um, like I said, that will be another game I will do later. I guess I'll put that on the back, uh, slightly on the back burner for right now. Um, I will see how today's looking. I will try to record a, um, a video and keep going with, um, Neko Jissy, uh, and finish, uh, Liku Lao's routes. I know those need to be finished, and then we can start with my favorite, my favorite best tiger boy, Suichi Senpai. I will, well, he'll, he will be the next route when we get as far as we can with Spencer's route. Um, he will probably be the next route. I will probably do Harold because he's my second favorite character. Uh, Spen uh, so it'll be uh, Spencer, Harold, Chester, and then I don't know who how I'll do Darius and, um, I don't know how I'll do the lovely Darius, um, and Dozer. Um, those two I have to figure out who I'm going to do first for them, but, uh, Right now, the order is Spencer, Harold, and uh, Dinchester, my uh, top three. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me, Mark. Hal was going to help me, but he had he's had his hands full today. I, did, I No, I don't know if I'm doing Dozer last. I just know he's going to be after the first three. I, I have to choose if I'm going to do Darius, Darius or um, Darius or uh, Dozer uh, last. I'm not sure which one I'm doing last. No problem, Spence. What are we going to be doing? Try to take over the world. Well, we need to set up extra tables and chairs outside. Lights and other decorations need to be put up. We have clearance to block the street for a few hours later tonight, since it's not a primary road. There will be a DJ there too, so we'll have to make sure there's a good place for him to set up with these equipment. Also, guys, can you hear me? Is everything okay? Are you okay with the voices? Do you think they're, um, I, um, if you feel like there's some, something I can do a little different with the voices, don't be afraid to let me know. Um, as I said, not only is this a fun experience for us, this is also, for me, um, voice acting practice. Uh, I really love voice acting. It is something that I seriously want to consider doing. Not necessarily, like, as a primary career, but just something as a, like, second-hand career. Uh, something where, like, once in a while, maybe auditioning. I really would love to audition for some visual novels. Um, I know, I do know I need some work, but, uh, I really want to try hard. It's something I very much enjoy. And I would really love to do more with it. So these are good. Are good. Uh, not only are they great games, uh, fantastic games even. They are great practice for me. Very great practice. You know, great practice for uh, other things as well. Mm, great thing for uh, you know. Just saying. There will be a DJ. <clears throat> there will be a DJ there too. So we'll have to make sure there's a good place for him to set up with his equipment. There isn't a lot to be done, but it really will help not having to do it on my own. Sounds like you got sounds like you got this all planned out. Of course, we we can't have an event like this without proper planning. I've been pretty busy setting it up. I know what that's from, Mr. Purple Dragon. I I I am a very heavy '90s kid. I remember all of the classics like Tiny Toot Adventures and Animaniacs and uh, Pinky and the Brain. Uh, and the really weird spinoff, Pinky and the Brain El Amira, which was a, uh, very, very, uh, interesting cartoon. Not necessarily bad, it just was very interesting. Among a few others, uh, Nicktoons, a lot of the Nicktoons cartoons I liked, and, uh, Cartoon Network. Um, back when Cartoon Network was in its heyday, back when they were actually pretty good. Um, they have a few hits here and there now, but, uh, nowhere near they did in their 90s and early 2000s era. I really hope the turnout is good, that it brings some good business to the cafe. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will be. Oh, this is new music. See, I... Oh, I like this music. It's a nice guitar riffing. After parking behind the cafe, you followed Spencer around to the main street out front. Alright, so first things first. We need to move these tables around to set up the extras we have. Since we don't know how many people will be here, it's better if we have too many instead of too few. 
house said to do whatever we want with them. I made a simple diagram to show a decent layout. Jeez, you really are on top of it. <laughs> He's on top of it, alright. Listen, um, the 90s cartoons actually had some pretty uh, raunchy jokes. Especially when I got older and I started rewatching them. Uh, I have some on DVD. I was like, there are some really adult jokes in some of those cartoons. S stuff that you really could get, get away with nowadays. Like, really raunchy jokes. I was very surprised that the uh, censors um, or editors let them get away with. Hello, nurse. That's a really good example of one. Just to be an example. This will make things easier for us. Great work, Spence. Now let's get started. You and Spencer began <clears throat> You and Spencer began sliding tables around and the work you two were doing earned you some extra attention. Or rather, it earned Spencer some extra attention. Periodically you caught yourself eyeballing your friend. He was definitely in good shape and you couldn't help but to admire his body as he picked up the tables and chairs. Not only did he mem mesmerize you, but he seemed to catch the eye of any girls that were passing through the area. You see them look you see them looking at him and giggling whenever he nod in their direction or speak to them. A couple of them approached him at one point, batting their eyes and flirting with him while he worked. He didn't seem to mind the conversation, but you felt a twinge of jealousy watching them converse. Spencer glanced over at you and noticed you watching him. He parted ways with the girls, causing them to pout and walk off. Everything alright? <clears throat> Everything alright? You look annoyed. Oh. Oh. I don't know, cause we're kind. I mean, I mean, uh, I don't know what to say. I kind of, I want to, I want to make good points with him, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm like, how could you spin? I'm supposed to be your love. Well, later on in the game, I'm sure, but and girls, because he had girls following him, and I'm like, Spencer, how could you? It's like, I trusted you! How could you? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm gonna probably say I'm fine. Alright, we're fine. We're not gonna be that person. Huh? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, okay. You just seemed bothered that I was talking with them. You sure you're okay? You sure you're okay? We can take a break now if you'd like. It has gotten a bit hot out here. If you want, a break sounds like a good idea. Grab a seat then, and I'll get us some drinks. You took a seat under an umbrella, and he vanished inside the cafe. Moments later, he returned with two large cups, handing one to you. What is this? It's the raspberry tea. I love the stuff and thought you might like it too. Huh? It's pretty good, thanks. You're welcome. It's really refreshing with the work we've been doing. Yeah. And sorry for slacking off. You've been working hard, and I was just carrying on with those girls. I know, Spence! You were carrying on with girls! How could you betray us like this? How dare you! Betraying us. <sighs> and I have to forgive you, Spence, because I love you, but it's hurtful. It hurts my soul. This is not good for my soul. Or my heart. Oh. Don't worry about it, Spence. You've been working hard, too, so you deserve to relax a moment. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hold on, guys. Give me two seconds. I forgot to share the link for this on my Twitter account. I don't know how I forgot. So give me, like, two seconds. Let me a few seconds. I really like this music. It's very, uh, I like the guitar riff.
like I said, not much longer. I just, I'm usually pretty good with, uh, I am usually pretty good with, um, posting these ahead of time, but I did everywhere else except my, uh, my Twitter account. So, that was a big surprise. Alright, there we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Back to the story. The Purple Dragon, just let me play the game. You don't have to spoil it for me. I want to play for myself. I appreciate it though, but let me play for myself. Because I don't remember I didn't got I didn't get far far in the game. I just want to play. Let me play. But thank you, though. I do like that you're, you're very enthusiastic about the game. I do appreciate it, though. But let me just... Let me play the game. And um, you can tell me after if we get ahead. Because if we talk forever, I'm never going to get any of the game done. I want to get the game done. But, dude, still feel free to talk in the chat. I will comment when I can. But let me play the game. Please. <clears throat> oh, don't worry about it, Spence. You've been working hard, too, so you deserve to relax a moment. Oh, he's got that smirk on his face. <laughs> I suppose. They said they were interested in what we were doing, but I'm pretty sure that's not why they approached me. The smirk on his face lets you know he was thinking the same thing you were. Of course, when is that ever the case when it comes to you? Okay, I will call you... Alright, Purple I will call you Snake Lord, then. I will call you... I will call you the Snake Lord! Mm. Lord of the Snakes, I will rule the world. Well, you will rule the world, but uh, I will be your assistant. It's rare, right? All the girls I ever talked to seem to have just one thing in mind. Oh, well, tough luck for them, huh? Ah, uh, sure, I guess my character says that! My character says that! What the fuck? <laughs> my character's like, what the fuck? Uh, sure, I guess. What's that supposed to mean? What the voice? What? Snake Lord, Snake Lord. I shall call you Snake Lord. Rule of snakes. Rule of the creepy and ambassador of all that is evil and slimy. I'm, go I'm gonna get back to work. Don't relax too much longer, alright? Before getting up, you finished off your drink, then headed back over to Spencer to help finish with the tables. It didn't take the two of you much longer before you had all those set up, and Spencer directed you to move on to the lights. Once more, he had it planned out and showed you what he wanted done while he worked on something else. Things soon turned to look like there was something going on, and people were becoming more and more curious as they passed through. Six o'clock drew closer, and it was nearly time for things to pick up. People had already started to show up. Alright, I have the roads blocked off with caution tape and signs redirecting the parking for parking. There's already a decent number of people here, and the DJ just arrived. Thanks so much for coming out and helping me and spreading the word. As much as I'd like to have, I could have done it all alone. Don't mention it, Spence. I'll, I'd do anything I could help to help you out. I didn't do much, but I'm really glad things are starting off good. Yeah, let's go start chatting with people, alright? I mean, this is an event for us, and we need to mingle. Ooh, we do need to mingle, Spence. We do need to mingle. The other guys should be here any time now, too, so keep an eye out for them. Gotcha. Music soon filled the air when the DJ had all of his preparations complete, and it was accompanied with a set of food. Not only was the cafe working in full force now, but they had even set up a grill outside for people who wanted a quick bite. Oh wow! Oh, this is different. I, I there was never a nighttime. Ooh, I like this. The sun started to drop beyond the horizon, and all the lights you set up kicked on, keeping the atmosphere relaxed and lively. Oh, hello there, Mr. Uh... Mr. Bad Boy, Mr. Bad Coon. Now, Bad Coon, we do have some rules here. Uh, the biggest one of all is be yourself. That includes being as crazy and wonky as I am. Besides that, go nuts and go crazy, please. I'd love to see. I'd love to see all my good boys and watches happy. Hmm. The rest of your team had shown up by then, and you spent your night chatting with them and anyone else who was standing around. Hey, Mark, great idea. Spencer had to show the team some love, right? 
Yeah, it was a great idea. It helped since we won our match. It's, why does his face still stuck? Why is my character's face still stuck like that? He's just had that still like, what the fuck face? <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a mistake, but it just makes the scene funnier. He's just like he's just looking. He's like looking at all these furry guys. He's just like he's like, what the fuck did I do? What the fuck did I take? <laughs> uh, I I do have to say though, I know I said it last time. I do really do like Chester's uh, new uh, short sleeve hoodie. I think it looks really good. I do like the design. It's simple, but it looks good. Uh, that's one character. That's one of the characters I think is perfectly fine with the update. I actually. I actually think Chester looks a little better in the new art than the old art. I still, like I said, again, I prefer the old art, but with some things in the new art, I appreciate. I think, I do think Chester looks better in the new art. Oh, you're working right now. All right. Well, I'm glad, I'm, that's even better. I'm glad that you stopped by. Bad. Um, hopefully you can enjoy what you can. Um, but make sure you don't get in trouble at work because uh, last thing I need is for somebody to get in trouble with their job uh, i know how that is believe me uh i really always a lot of times when uh ookie cookie streams are going i'm at work and i'm like i want to look at them but i'm like i don't want to get in trouble all of the all the characters in this game are great i have there's no one specific character that well let me rephrase that there's not one character love interest at least in this game that i can say is not well done it's just, I have preferences, but they're all good. I love all of them. I just have preferences who I like the most. Granted, that could also be because uh, of speciesism, but uh, that's besides the point. Yeah, it was a great idea. It helped since we won our match yesterday, too, so we can really talk up the team. <laughs> yeah, you guys did great. Me and Dozer didn't do too bad ourselves, right, bud? We did good, but could always improve. It would have gone better if you had kept a level head the whole time. I know, I know. Jeez, I've heard it enough already. I'll work on it. Just be patient with me, alright? You're lucky I've grown patient as I've gotten older. Yeesh. <laughs> Those are certainly a good parent for you, Chester. You guys can overpower anything. It'll keep you cool. No doubt. We'll crush everyone. You and Spencer better watch out, because we'll be gunning for your spot soon. Is that a chat? <clears throat> Is that a challenge? Bet it is. Me and Dozer will take you guys down before the season is over. I look forward to seeing you try. Just you wait. Me and Dozer will crush you. You have a lot of work to do, so you better practice hard. You can count on it. By the way, I'm sorry. I don't think my Chester voice is the best. Uh, like I said, pr uh, practice makes perfect. So I, I, I was listening to my videos. Um, I, I like my Spencer voice, and I like my, uh, my, uh coach voice and Darius's voice is hilarious it's not the best but I do find it hilarious and I probably will keep it like that but Chester Dozer I do need to work on a little bit and Harold's fine Harold's just I gotta get used to the um I gotta get used to um keeping that voice up for a long time because uh you know it's coach grifter he's yelling a lot and, and you know making sure that everybody's doing their laps and their uh stretching he loves the stretching Yeah, uh, that's true. This is a fun time, so, um, I can't have si silly voices. Um, it's something I'll probably be practicing off stream, uh, with some of the characters. <clears throat> that bull would never learn. He can't handle us, right? Excuse me, purple dragon. Excuse me, snake. Excuse me, snake lord. <laughs> can, can I breathe? <laughs> I'm just trying to get my life. Can I breathe? <clears throat> All right, so obviously we're gonna say it right. <laughs> what the hell is that face? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that face. That's the. Oh, I love you, MC, but you have some of the most derpiest faces. <laughs> I love that face. Oh. Oh, man. Oh! Did Dine retweet this? Oh, no! Oh, no, guys! The stream's over! I'm gonna get banned because the creator's gonna be like, Listen, this guy's fucking annoying! Get him out of here! <laughs> Copyright infringement! Get him out of here! 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, purple dragon, exactly. Like, like the character just looks like, like the, the guy just looks like he just like walked into a bar, just somebody like touched him under the counter. He's like, oh, He's like, oh. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get back to the game. Let's get back to the game. Oh man, <laughs> you're right about that. He's improving, but we're on a different level than him. Yeah, you're right about that. It'll be up to us to bring out the best in him, then. Oh, hey! <clears throat> oh, hey! It's White Thunder! Uh, who's White Thunder? I got a question. What? What? White Thunder? Yeah, this guy right here! Just saw you the other night and have to say I'm impressed! Oh no, stop guys! Oh no! I'm gonna be- Don't say that to me, I'm trying to play the game the best of my abilities, and then you guys are like, By the way, the creator retweeted your stream. Have fun! Thanks guys! Let me- let me just, uh, let me just put on- hold on, I gotta put on my big boy- I gotta put on my big boy pants. They're a little, uh, they're a little tight, but I can fit them if I try hard enough. I'm not a big boy, but I can try to be. I- I'll try. I can only try. That's all we can do, right? I I have no idea what you're talking about. You must be talking about someone else. What? No way! I'd recognize you anywhere! It's hard to forget those eyes! <clears throat> Spencer was beginning to look really uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure you have the wrong guy. It, it, excuse me, Mark. I uh, forgot I need to ask Hal something. Oh man, he ran off! Maybe I was wrong. I have no idea who that person was or what he was talking about. Whatever it was, it caused Spencer to leave in a rush. I'll have to find him. You scanned around the crowd looking for your friend, but you didn't see him anywhere. Oddly enough, you saw Hal, but didn't see Spencer with him. Hey, Hal! Oh, hey, Mark. This event is going great so far, isn't it? Spencer did a great job organizing it. Oh, yeah, things are going great with it. Have you seen him? Yeah, he just went out back if you want to head through the kitchen and find him. Thanks. How got that? How's got... Aww. Oh, file not found. Oh, well. Background's not found. I was kind of curious how the inside of the cafe looked. Oh, well. Sure enough, you... It's just like, right now, it just looks like, 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 House Cafe is just some kind of, like, ethereal, di ethereal dimension. You just go inside, and there's, like, just blackness with a bunch of, like, food just floating around. Just materializes into the plane of existence. It's like, um, Hal, I... It's like, um, Hal, I have several questions. <laughs> I have, uh, several questions. Uh, first of all, where the fuck am I? <laughs> Secondly, nice place. Sure enough, you found Spencer out back and messing with his cell phone. Here you are. Yeah, uh, just had to get away from all those people for a moment. Or that, uh, one guy, right? <laughs> that was kind of weird. What do you call you? White Thunder? Uh, yeah, that was odd, wasn't it? I, I have no idea what he was talking about. He seemed pretty sure he knew you, though. Well, I didn't... Oh, Spencer is like... Spencer's not looking too happy. Not like mad, he just looks kind of like he, he doesn't want to talk about it. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know who he is, so let's just forget about that guy. Alright. Uh, okay. I've not seen him lose his cool like this before. Sorry, I didn't mean to snap like that. He just seems to mistake me for someone else's all. Come on, let's get back to the party. Mm, okay. You know what, guys? I'm in a freaking good mood today. I might also stream address at, at, at Dastra. I don't know. I'm in a really freaking good mood. I love you guys so freaking much. Like, I get so happy when I play games like this and I just have fun with you guys. Like, I, I'm usually happy with recordings, but to actually interact, I feel so freaking happy. <laughs> group hug. I'm going to post group hug. Uh, so much fun. <clears throat> the cafe was still bustling, and the street out front of the cafe was filled with people mingling. When you exited the cafe with Spencer, you were greeted promptly. Spencer, Mark, I was looking for you. Sorry, Richard and I are a little late. Don't worry about it, Maria. Thank you both for coming. Yeah, um, 
I always wrote when I was younger, uh, and usually in high school I wrote, but, um, EA was, EA was one of the first games that really made me, honestly, surprisingly, this and Pirate's Fate were the, uh, two games that made me get back into writing, because when I used to write in the, uh, past, um, let's just say I had a, uh, more than a few comments about how, uh, annoying my writing was, uh, mainly with the fact that it was, uh, furry, so that was, uh, kind of a, uh, heartbreaker, but, um, after seeing how well done this story is, I, yeah, um, uh, Snake Lord, um, send me your, uh, send me your page, um, I would love to look at your writing, I, I know I'm kind of a novice myself right now, um, but I can give you, um, tips, <clears throat> my biggest issue is mostly with, um, proofreading, mainly, uh, punctuation and, um, sometimes spelling, but, uh, I would love to take a look at your reading, uh, send me, send me the link, um, you can send it to me on Discord. Yeah, I'm glad you were able to make it. Things set up. <clears throat> Things look great around here. You boys did an excellent job setting this up. Sp Spencer did it all. I just helped with the lights and tables. Hey, wouldn't we look as good if you didn't come help, though? So you could take some credit, too. But you organized all of this by yourself. I didn't do much. <clears throat> Regard regardless, you worked together, and it looks like it turned out great. It's so lively here right now. It's really nice to see it all like this. You and Spencer stood with Maria for a little bit while Richard was off eating. Spencer excused himself eventually and left you alone with Maria. You watched after him for a moment before turning back to Maria. Well, everybody calls her Cat... Cat Mama. Uh, bad? I do not know what that is. Um, what is... Ne Nanorimo. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Sorry. Most of my, uh... If it's a visual novel, um, I don't know too many. I, I've actually been looking on a few channels to try to find more. Most of them I find are usually through other fellow YouTubers, so... Most of them I find are usually through, um... <clears throat> sorry. Uh, mostly through YouTube, uh, for, for YouTubers and whatnot. Um... Oh, National Novel Writing Month. Oh! Okay. Um, well, I wish you luck, Bad Coon. I would love to see some stuff you've done. Um, right now, sadly, my Fur Affinity, I only have the one short story I did. Um, like I said, um, kinda don't know what happened to my other stuff. But, um, I have that, and I'm also currently working on a furry novel. Like, an actual novel. Um, it's been going pretty well. I'm actually about 50-something pages in. Um, so, you know, like I said... Uh, if Dine Wolf is looking at this, or if somebody knows Dine Wolf, tell him thank you so much for being such a huge inspiration. Um, it's really great. I'm so happy that you have done something you enjoy, and it has made me very inspired to continue to write, and among do other things that I want to improve on. So, uh, thank you for that, Dine Wolf. Thank you, Cookie. Thank you, Decker Link. And thank you, a few other people that I cannot remember at this moment. When you turned your attention back to her, you saw a twinkle in her eye. Oh. She pulled you over to an empty table. She pulled you over to an empty table and sat down. Oh, thank you, Bad Coon, for subscribing. That is that makes me so happy. I am very appreciative that you thought that you like my content enough to subscribe. Thank you. So now I am at 56 subscribers. And by the way, when I hit 100, no joke. When we hit 100 subscribers, I will do a eight-hour stream. This is no joke. This is serious. I will be doing. I will do an eight-hour stream, uh, a full workday worth of stream, um, and it could be short games, uh, short visual novel games. It could be other furry games. It doesn't matter. But we will. Oh, that could stop, <laughs> Sweetie Senpai. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Bad Coon. I'm really happy that you enjoy it. <clears throat> This is, believe me, if you see me in public, I am not like this at all. Uh, this is my real personality, but in public, I am a little, uh, a little shy little boy. Who, uh, doesn't know how to be myself. But, uh, it's okay. I'm working on that. It's just a process. <clears throat> she pulled you over to an empty table and sat down across from you. I can understand why you feel the way you do. 
<laughs> Bart, stop! Damn it! Why does my character have to look like such a douchebag? He's like, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I uh, <laughs> uh, I um, uh, what? It's like I'll be writing on my lunchtime, and people are like, oh man, what are you writing? I'm like, oh nothing, just nothing important. Oh, can I see? Uh, or it, it's not really good. Like I'll I'll say whatever I can to get them not to read it. Just because it's still kind of embarrassing to do. It's let me rephrase it. It's not embarrassing to do furry stuff. It's just when I did it when I was younger, I got bashed for it so hard that I just stopped doing it. So it's just a process that I have to say, okay, it's okay to like this stuff. It's okay to want to write this stuff. Um, it's just I got to get used to it. And uh, yes, real quick, um, uh, Snake Lord, uh, what would you like to talk about? Uh, what did you want to ask? And then I'm going to keep going with the game, because I got to... I am bisexual. Um, yes, I am bisexual. And before we go anywhere, very quickly, so I can keep going with the game. Um, my, my reason why I liked this game so much was because... While it does have sexual stuff in it, it is it, it's a very good build up to the sexual stuff, and it's very realistic. If that makes any sense, it, it works its way towards it, and all the characters feel like they have actual real relationships. Um, don't get me wrong, I am perfectly fine playing some games. There are some games I do like that are very just you know out of nowhere. Uh, as much as I love Lagoon Lounge, <clears throat> um, it's as much as I love Lagoon Lounge. That game does have a lot of just random, like, hey, you want to fuck? Like, out of nowhere. And I'll be like, wait, what? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And, you know, are a lot of characters like, I'm not gay, but you can suck me off. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's it's like, I, I can't enjoy some games like that. But usually this was why I really enjoyed this game, because it's done very well. That leads up to that point. Um. So... <clears throat> Sorry. All right, let's keep going, though. I, I, my thought, and I think this is the weirdest thing I've said before, because even when I started RPing, <laughs> the weird, <laughs> uh, I mean, listen, I can, um, uh, I don't like cats, purple, uh, snake lord, so you can't mention cats to me, I hate cats. No, I'm just joking. I have cats. Cats are okay. Maria, Maria is an exception. She's okay. We all love our cat mama. He's very charismatic, isn't he? Of all people, you wouldn't have expected it to be Maria to catch on to how you feel about your friend so easily. You're at a loss for words, staring down at your hands clasped together on the table. Don't be embarrassed about it, dear. He's friendly, polite, confident, and quite handsome. Is is it that obvious? Oh, oh no! What did I do? Oh. Okay, I, I hit too, I hit space enter too long. <laughs> Only to me, you've given me enough hints and I recognize the look in your eyes when you're around him. The embarrassment you felt was near overwhelming and you couldn't bring yourself to look at Maria. You felt her hand on top of yours and you were finally able to glance up into her smiling face. Don't worry, he looks at you in a similar fashion. You, you think so? I think so, maybe it's just because you've been friends for so long, but he certainly looks at you differently. Oh, he's on his way back in here, over here now, so act natural. Easy for her to say after she's got me so flustered. Welcome back, Spencer. Thanks, what's wrong with Mark? Oh, he was just a little hot as all, so we were relaxing away from everyone. You feeling alright? Spencer put his hand on your shoulder and leaned over to look at your face. You averted your eyes before replying to him. I'm gonna lower the music down just uh, slightly. Oh, it's already lowered pretty low. Just a little bit, a little bit more. Spencer put his hand on your shoulder and leaned over to look at your face. You averted your eyes before replying to him. <clears throat> Sorry. That's one of the best things. I can't wait to get two screens. It'll be so much easier to have two monitors. Uh... Fine, don't worry. Good, because you're coming with me. It's about time to wrap things up, and we need to thank everyone for coming. The DJ is going to set us up with the mics and speakers. I'll be stealing him for a moment, Maria. 
Go for it. Keep him as long as you like. You shot Maria a glance that was only met with an innocent smile as Spencer pulls you off toward the DJ table. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, Spencer! What are you going to do to me? Coach and the other guys were already gathered around the table when you and Spencer joined them. The music was cut off and Coach started talking about the team and how the season had already started. He talked for only a minute, thanking everyone for their support while throwing in some shoutouts to the cafe for allowing the event to be hosted here. There was applause from the crowd and the team thanked everyone once again for showing up and offering their support. After that little speech, people began to disperse and it was time for the cleaning to commence. You found Maria to let her know you were sticking around to help clean and put things back to normal and that Spencer would bring you home. Cleaning was much easier than setting up since the entire team was there to help with it, and it didn't take long before you were in Spencer's car. He had stopped to talk, speak with Hal, so you were waiting for him to join you. In the meantime, you pulled down the passenger's side visor to check for a mirror. When you did, a piece of paper fell out. Hmm? What's this? Oh, looks like a work schedule. Some place called Dynamite Springs. Huh? I've never heard of it. Looks like he's working there tomorrow night, so maybe I'll swing by and visit him. He's not mentioned where he works yet. So it'll be fun to see what he does. I'll get the address later and head there. Dynamite Springs. Huh. Ah. Uh, sounds like it could. Sounds like it could be a golf, a golf, a mini golf course thing. Maybe he works. At, maybe he works as a cashier, or uh, maybe he works as a tenant at a golf course. I, I don't know. Dynamite Springs. I'm trying to think what Dynamite Springs can be. I don't know why I get golf course vibes. Um, I you know what? I don't know. I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll head to the place, find out where he works at. That'll be interesting. You slipped the paper back into the visor and popped it back up before Spencer climbed into the driver's seat. The drive back home was short and silent. Tonight was pretty successful, I think. Yeah, it was a great night. How things end up for the cafe? I talked to Hal about it before we left, and he said he'd never done so much business. Hopefully that earns them some attention, and business picks up for them overall. I really appreciate you helping me out with this, Mark. And don't say you didn't do much. You helped, and that's what matters to me. Then, I'm glad I could help you, Spence. Feel free to ask me if you ever need anything. You're pretty good on your own, but I'm always here if you need me, alright? Um... I will have to see Snake Lord. Um, I do have some things I have to do today after the stream. I will try, but it's I, I can't promise. If not today, um, either tomorrow or the day after. I, it would be nice to talk to you. Um, I, I always love talking to my um, subscribers and making new friends. Um, there, there's actually a few people that I really want to talk to, but uh, I'm a little shy. So uh, I'll try today, though. But if not today, I, I will have another day planned. I just have a few things to do today. Um, like, I did say that mention the address, the thing, but I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen today. Um, I will try. I, I think I do want to get started on a, a Dastra, though. Oh, that's okay. I love small, squeaky voices. I never could I never could differ, differentiate what my voice is like because I always try to listen to it, and I'm like, I can't tell what kind of voice I have, but um, I guess that just makes me unique. Because I never can tell what my voice is like. I know you are, Mark. If I could count on anyone, I know it's you. You were back home, but you didn't want to get out of his car just yet. Even in silence, just being around Spencer made you happy. I'm sorry for earlier, too. For what? When I snapped at you, I don't know why I did that. Don't worry about it. You were... You're probably. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Uh, if you guys don't know, this word I hear is used a lot. Probably. You were probably just a little stressed from making sure everything was running smooth. I understand. Maybe. Remember what I told you yesterday? About what? That you can always talk to me and not keep any secrets. Oh yeah, that. I remember. What about it? Oh, Spencer. Oh no. Spencer, what are you doing to us? No secrets. What are, you, what are you about to tell us? What are you about to tell us, Spencer? I, I will. I'll probably, I, I, I'll probably say probably. <laughs> and just a few days ago, when you found out I danced, you said I could trust you. Of course, Spencer. You can trust me with anything. You're my closest friend. So I can talk to you about anything, right? Always, Spence. Did you need to tell me something? You looked at him and he swallowed hard. The way it was active right now was making you nervous. 
I... I don't... Uh, oh. It, it's just good to know when I need somebody, you're there. I don't feel that way about anyone else around me. People seem so shallow lately, so I'm happy to know I have you to count on. I'm glad you feel that way. What you said goes for you too, then. If you ever need to talk to me about anything, Spence, talk to me. I'm here for you, just like you're here for me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna head inside now. You wanna come say hi to Maria for real fast? Nah, just let her know I said goodnight. You go get some rest. I'm gonna do the same. Thanks again for all your help, Mark. You're welcome. Have a good night, and be safe driving home. Will do. Good night. Oh no! I was thinking he was gonna. I was thinking he was going to confess. Oh damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, and here I and <sighs> Sorry. Okay, I'm back. Damn it, he didn't... I thought he was gonna confess! Damn it! Well, back home. I guess I can get that address real quick. Uh, just to let you guys know, whenever I do the main character, no matter for what game, I always use my normal voice. I just feel like it makes me feel more in character. Um, as for the other characters, I always do give for voices, but always the main character is always going to be my voice. Even if there's some, like, rough guy, I'm going to be like, oh, man, I'm like, I'm going to kill you, all right? It's like, no, no hard feelings, right? <laughs> I, I'm waiting for to get play with one of those main characters, just like, really, a really big asshole, and just use my normal voice. Um, that, that's going to be fun when I get to that point. Well, back home. I guess I can get that address real quick. But, I mean, most times, being honest, uh, I notice a lot of the main protagonists, usually, in visual novels, are always kind of... Not assholes. They're more, like, just laid-back people, usually. Like, nerve, like you know, like, shy, quiet people. So, my voice always seems to work perfectly for them. Let's see. I'll look at a map on my phone. What was it again? Dynamite Springs? Hmm, listed under food and entertainment. Wonder what he does exactly. Oh, so he must be... Maybe he's a waiter. You know what, Dynamite Springs, maybe like maybe it's like a Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, by the way, are those still around? I think Chuck E. Cheese is still around. Yes, 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 Snake Lord. That's what I was just, uh, That's yeah, that's what I mentioned earlier. This game has, this game builds up relationships. Um, I'm a very devoted person to thinking that you can have a, a happy relationship with a lot of sex. Um, but just because you have a lot of sex doesn't mean... You can't have a healthy, good relationship. That's my thought. And a lot of games feel like they, it, it, one or the other. It's feel, either feel like a lot of uh, games, um, uh, most games, especially visual novels, it's either like, oh yeah, either you just have a lot of sex and there's no good relationship, or you have a good relationship, but there's like pretty much like no sex in it. It's like, there's you, you can have both. You can have both. Um, one of my favorite games I think did it very well was, not a visual novel, Mass Effect. I love Mass Effect's romance options. Especially in the third game. Uh, Mass Effect, I, uh, let me, I can easily say it's my favorite series, hands down. Uh, Mass Effect, favorite series, hands down. Um, I think one of my favorite things with that game was, like, there were consequences. L like, in the first game, let's say if you date one person in the first game, and the second game you date another person, in the third game, they'll come together, and they'll be like, listen, like, you know, you have to choose one of us. You can't do the harem route. You have to choose one of them. And I was like, I was very happy with that. I was like, good, good, good. I'm like, they're doing some good stuff with it. Um... Granted, there wasn't a lot of, um, same-sex, uh, granted, there wasn't a lot, oh, no, 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 I, I completely agree with you, Bad Coon, Garrus is easily the best hus husband, though, um, whenever I do a female route, I've only done female once for every game, um, I always stuck with Garrus the whole time, I didn't go with anybody but Garrus, now, you guys are gonna probably be surprised, but, uh, the first, obviously, I played, I started, I played male in the first game, and obviously, um, before Andromeda, which, rest in peace, Bioware. Um, Andromeda was not a bad game, but it had a lot of issues that made it not fun to play. Um, uh, when I played Bill Shepard, I went with Liara. The second game, I actually went with Jack. Um, I did that mostly because I wanted to be above and beyond, because everybody went with Miranda. Everybody's like, oh, let's go with Miranda. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go with Jack. And in the third game, I stayed with Liara. Um, 
But then when I played female, I went with Garrus the whole time, the whole entire gameplay. Well, obviously, in the first game, I didn't date anybody. I didn't try to get with anybody. And then, because uh, the only option you had for was either uh, Kaden, who I don't really like Kaden. Um, I liked Ashley more than I liked Kaden. I didn't. I liked Kaden's abilities, but I didn't actually like Kaden as a character until the third game. He got a little bit. He got a little bit better. Um, despite him kind of being an asshole to you in the beginning, he did get like he did become a really good character. So anyway, that's it. I always choose Garrus when I play Mass Effect as female Shepard, as fem 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 Shepard. Yes, I was. I'm, I'm finished now, though. Today, we were talking about Mass Effect. Yeah, he can, but please, nobody take this the wrong way. I didn't like his heel turn. I felt like it didn't make any sense with Caden specifically. The other characters, I could have seen it being done with, but Caden, I didn't like that they made him suddenly gay in Mass Effect Three. And I, and again, not saying it doesn't happen, but the way it was done, I felt like could have been done a lot better. That that's all I have to say about that. Um, I was glad that they added it. Just thought it could be done a little bit better. But anyway. Hmm, listed under food and entertainment. Wonder what he does exactly. Huh? It's about 20 minutes away. There should be a bus route that heads there. Alright, tomorrow night I'll go surprise Spence at work. I'm sure he'll be happy to see me. Yeah, Ashley was good. Because Ashley started off as that, like, badass soldier. But she actually had a very meaningful backstory. And there was a valid reason. The buses run a bit later since it's the weekend, too, so I'll be fine to stay for a while. Time to crash. Today has taken a lot out of me. Oh, anytime, Snake Lord. I think Mass Effect is still an amazing series. I really do hope that uh, they haven't completely given up on it, and I really hope that uh, if they make another game, they really work on it. Because Andromeda had a lot of interesting ideas, just very poor execution. A lot of interesting ideas I would have liked to see. Just wish they would uh, fix the execution just a little bit more. And I still, I still haven't even finished that game, sadly. I think I've got, like... I finished, like, half of the main story worlds, and I just stopped playing. It was... It was kind of boring. Actually. A little bit. It was a little boring to me. I can't help but think about what he won't tell me, either. Seems like we, seems we both got something to hide, huh, Spence? Oop, day seven. It has been officially a week. It's getting dark outside, so I think now would be a good time to head off to see Spence. Wait, where did the rest of the day go? Did we just... Did we just not do anything the whole day? Just, like, it skips the night time. No, 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 I haven't recorded it. Um, That game's a little hard to record. Um, Mostly... Mostly because... um, The first two games are on Steam, but three is not on Steam. So it's hard to import your choices. I do have the trilogy for Xbox 360, though. Or Xbox One, I should say. Um, but it is a game I do want to play eventually, because I, I love that series. Um, even th I, I love all of them. Um, I'm that weirdo that still thinks the first game was the best game gameplay-wise. Two was the best story-wise, but one was the best gameplay-wise. In my opinion. Yeah, I know. I I gotta save. I'm trying to save some money for a game capture card because I really there are some games I really want to play that I only have on consoles. Um, that I, a, one I only have on consoles, or if I don't have it on con, if I do have it on PC, the PC port is terrible, which it does happen. Uh, sometimes PC ports are actually the worst version of a game. Sometimes, and uh. No, and I and I'm perfectly fine with that. I do I do too. I'm just saying I'm saying Mass Effect 2 is my favorite game. I'm saying gameplay wise though I prefer one. But two I think is the better game. I'm just saying that compared to gameplay though, I do think one is the better game. His shift started a couple hours ago, and it'll take me a little bit to get there. Going out late tonight, Mark. Yeah, I'm gonna surprise a friend at work. He doesn't know what I'm coming to see him. That's always nice. What's the name of the place you're heading to? Also, I need to save some screenshots. How do I save screenshots with this game? Or how do I save screenshots with the Windows shortcut? Some place called Dynamite Springs? It's not too far from here. 
I've never heard of it before, but it's listed as food and entertainment? Hmm, it sounds familiar, but I can't say that I've ever been. I'll tell you how it is. It'll be late when I get back, though, so it'll have to wait till tomorrow. Well, be safe while you're out tonight. I will be. Have a good night, Maria. You too, dear. Your destination was just a town over, and between walking to the bus stop and the bus trip, the trip near the trip took nearly an hour, thanks to traffic. Oh, uh, I catch the bus, so I feel him, because uh, buses go really slow, and they take a lot of detours. When you arrived, the sun was going, and it was dark outside. The area you were in was lit with bright neon signs and had quite a lot of people. Oh, not found. Scanning around the area, you saw your destination. The giant bright letters clearly spelled out Dynamite Springs. The logo that accompanied the name looked like a geyser sprouting water out of a dirt mound periodically. This area is pretty lively. It looks like a strip of casinos and clubs. Well, let's see if I can find Spencer. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, is this the... Maybe it's a casino, or maybe it's a club. You cross the street and we'll stop at the front door by a large, gruff-looking individual. Ooh! 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 Oh, no! You can't... No! Oh, no! Oh, no, mm, mm. hello, handsome, hello, hello, hello. Ooh. Sorry for that scream. Mm. I don't remember this at all. Ooh, I don't remember this at all, but I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot. Oh, I gotta drink some water. I'm, I'm thirsty. I'm so thirsty right now. I'm so freaking thirsty. I didn't really make that many choices. Um, mostly I've just been keeping on his good side. Um, the library I chose not to pry when he had something going on. Um, and the last choice I just made was um, uh, nothing, nothing serious. I haven't really been doing anything that's like um, um, bad. Oh man! Oh no, no! How do you, so? Can somebody tell me how to save? Hold on, I have to look that up. How how do we save screenshots? Because I am definitely going to be using that in one of my uh, video things. Um, Cause mm, he is fine, and honestly, time to get a little personal. He is exactly what I would like to be like. Just saying. Don't judge me, please don't. But just saying. <laughs> Uh, mm -mm -mm. okay, so I just found out snipping tool. Because I am going to save a screenshot. I'm going to be saving a few screenshots. Uh, whew. We're going to, you know what, actually, we'll do that later. We're going to save, and we'll make another save. We'll do that later. Definitely going to be coming back to this, though. Mm. Mm. <sighs> that, oh, man, that, oh, I am... I am so flustered right now. Yeah, I, I'd save the screenshot. I'll, I'll use it later. I might use it for the next video. Whoa there, pal. I need to see your right. <clears throat> okay, that wasn't really that good of a voice. I'm sorry for that. I'm trying to think. Right there. Whoa there, pal. I need to see your ID if you want it. Oh, this is Dynamite Springs, right? Sure is. Uh, uh, okay. Passed your ID over, and after a quick check and a nod, it was handed back. All right, you're good to go. Drinks are half price for the guys tonight, so drink responsibly. Uh, thanks. Oh, no. Spencer, do you need to tell me something? Uh-oh. And by the way, holy crap, this background looks great. Oh, this is a perfect background. Uh, the other one was really good, but this one I think is actually better. Again, we're gonna we're gonna save one more time. I'm gonna have so many save files because we're gonna be using these. People were sitting around at booths located around the large room, and in the center of this room was a stage with spotlights aimed at it. The stage had a pole running from the floor to the ceiling, and on the stage was a male dancer swinging around on the pole. A handful of mostly men and a few women were gathered around the stage, tossing bills into it while cheering for the man dancing. Oh no, this is. Oh no, I think this is. I, Guys, I think this is a strip club. Oh no, Spencer, are you? No, 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 no. He can't. He can't be a stripper. There's, there's no way. You know, he probably. Work... Guys, I got it. He works at the bar. Okay, it's a little better, but uh, 
I kind of understand why he didn't want to tell us anything. Okay, so Spencer probably works at the bar. A little better. A variety of males were walking around the floor with trays. Their outfits ranged from firemen to business suits to even just a speedo. <laughs> Again, I have the my character has that face like what the f is going what the f is going on here? This this is a strip club. Spencer, does he really work here? You've never been in such a place before, and you felt embarrassed for being there. You looked around, finding a secluded table away from everyone, and grabbed a seat. You scanned around all the people in hopes of seeing your friend. You saw no pointy-eared canines, though, and began to question if that was if this <clears throat> and began to question if that was actually his work schedule. You found. While you were looking around, you heard a voice come over a speaker at the stage. Hey, 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 everyone, and welcome to Dynamite Springs. Don't forget, tonight is guys' night, so drinks for the men are all half price. And now, our next dancer is ready to come out for you! Someone better call Smokey the Bear, because it's getting hot in here with this lumberjack. White Thunder! White Thunder? It can't be. Oh, no. What, what, have we, what, what have we done? Looking towards the stage, you saw who you were looking for. Spencer had stepped in from behind a curtain and approached the pole in the middle of the roof! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Don't do this to me, game! Oh! <laughs> that... It... That it is. I even had a dream about him wearing this kind of outfit the other night. Never thought that would be real. The crowd erupted with cheers and whistles when he grabbed the pole, swinging himself skillfully around on it. Unable to resist, you slipped from your table and made your way to the center stage, ducking behind people to avoid Spencer spotting you until you were just feet from the stage. The edges of the stage felt shrouded in darkness with the bright spotlights being focused on the canine dancing on stage with how it was moving and the light lighting around. There's no way he'd see you unless he focused. Spencer moved with grace on the stage, gripping the pole as he spun himself around on it. After a few mo <clears throat> After a few minutes, he unbuttoned his shirt with his back to the pole. He slipped his shirt off as he moved down the pole to his knees before jumping back up and using his shirt... Uh, yeah, it kind of is. Before jumping back up and using his shirt now to swing around on the pole before tossing it aside. More whistling erupted from the crowd and a handful of bills landed on the stage. He moves just like he did when I found him in the dance studio. He's really good at this. The people really love him. I mean, look at his body. Even I'm feeling the heat from the dance. His movements tantalized you and you were anticipating more of his clothes falling off. The anticipation you were feeling did nothing but grow. He teased the crowd, unbuttoning his pants and unzipping them. It's a shame this is not CGI, but again, I understand budget, and that would be really hard, but mm, can I, as this was CGI, man. Mm. You could see a head of green underwear underneath. While he hooked his thumbs under his, the waistband, he pushed down just slightly, showing the edge off his pubic region. It's also funny, because... Um, the visual novel I'm working on, the main character works at a strip club. And again, don't worry, it's going to be a lot better than it sounds. It's not going to be just random sex or random sexy scenes. Like, um, there, there's a reason he ends up working there. But um, just let you guys know. Once again, the loudspeaker cut through the cheers and whistling. Let's hear it for White Thunder! He'll be back later tonight to put on another show for you guys, so stick around. For now, sit back, grab a cool drink, and relax. We'll have another show for you guys starting in just a bit. With another spit on the pole and a flick of his tail at the crowd, Spencer crouched down to gather the bills on the stage with his back to everyone. His pants had slipped down and the strap from his underwear was fronting along under his tail. You could see he wasn't wearing normal underwear though. Silver hands reached out the cop a feel of his butt and when he wagged it around, those same hands slipped several more bills under the showing waistband. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna... I'm gonna save, but we're slip. We're gonna slip a. We're gonna slip a bill. You decide to follow suit, and you pulled a bill from your pocket. Folding it in half, you reached out and pushed the bill down until his pants under his tail. But you didn't realize it. Instead, you slid it back and forth before letting go. When you did, you popped the band of the underwear he was wearing, and that made him spin around. H hey, now, someone's getting a little too frisky with my mark. Quickly, he finished gathering the money leg around and, bond and bounded to backstage. Oh, no! <laughs> oh! Oh! 
Oh, he is so embarrassed probably right now. He's probably so embarrassed right now. Mm. Sorry, Spencer, I had to do it. You're such, you're such a fine looker. You're so good looking. So good looking. I'm, oh, he's so good looking. I could, I could help myself. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> hey! Hello, Snowy. How are you doing today? I saw you yesterday in a certain stream. With that. And I also saw you get attacked by a ninja. Well, nice to see that you recovered. You start... You stared around, unsure of what to do after that. Before he could wander off, though, Spencer reappeared, and without a word, he grinned. And just to let you guys know, I'm not into just looks. Um, But Spencer is so good looking. Before he could wander off, though, Spencer reappeared, and without a word, he grabbed you by the hand and pulled you away. Spence, Spencer, not in public! Spencer! Oh, not in public! There's people around! <sighs> he didn't speak until he pulled you through a door labeled as employees only, and then out another door to the outside. Uh-oh. Aw. Oh, not found. What are you doing here? I, uh, well, you see, just wanted to surprise you at work. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> well, you did one hell of a job doing so. How? How did you find me here? Uh, you left your schedule in the visor of your passenger seat. I used the mirror and, well, I found it. Yeah, I know. I know he is, Snowy. Um, I, I was in the stream yesterday. Um, it is a shame, because he actually is, um... You would think he would be, a. Uh, we think it would be dominant, but I guess not. Oh well. I still like him though. I, that is a little bit of a disappointment. But uh, as also another character was mentioned too, uh, Sauce K from Lagoon Lounge is also apparently not, which is very upsetting because I haven't finished that game yet, and I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Spencer put his face in his paw and sighed heavily. And you thought it was a good idea to just show up un unannounced? Surprise. I don't even know what to say to you right now. <sighs> I really didn't want you to find out about it like this. Or at all, for that matter. Spencer glanced the. Wait, where's his Speedos? They said he had green Speedos on. I want to see Spencer in some green Speedos. Or else I'm leaving. <laughs> I will leave. He better show up later or I will end, this <laughs> I will end it. Spencer glanced the way inside again. I don't know. Should I apologize or should I chastise him? On one hand, you know, we are sorry for coming here. But at the same time, he said, remember, he said no secrets. He said no secrets, though. I, I get where both of you, but remember, he was like, oh, he was like, oh, he was like, he was like, I don't want any secrets between us. And then he hides this. That's hurtful. I'll make a save. I think we're going to chastise. I'm going to make a save, though, just in case I'm wrong. I have so many save files right now. Spencer glanced away and sighed again. Oh, we already did that. We're going to try one. After the whole talk we had about keeping secrets, what's the big idea? What's the big deal? Why would you hide this from me, too? I have no reason to tell you. You've never asked about my job. It's not like I was intentionally not telling you. What about last night, then? What about it? You told us no secrets, Spence! You told us no secrets! I thought we were your boyfriend! Boyfriend! I mean, you know, your friend, that's a boy! You're it's so hurtful! I thought I was your best friend! I thought you were a good dog! When we were sitting in your car, you asked me if you could tell me anything. Oh, that. You wanted to tell me, didn't you? But you didn't. Do you not trust me? Do you not trust me, Spence? Mark, that's not it. Out of it, out of anyone I know, I trust you the most. But this job, I wasn't sure how you respond to this. It's pretty different from you not want to tell me about your situation. People look at this job and it diminishes the respect they have for the person doing it. Alright, uh, Spencer's not wrong there. I mean, strippers and other jobs that involve sexual stuff um, are looked down very heavily upon society, so I can't blame them too much. 
since when do you care about what other people think about you? Also, Snowy, uh, like I said, it's good to see you. Um, i telling everybody because I see some new people are coming up in the stream. Uh, you do not have to, but if you would like, if you feel free to, you are more than welcome to like, comment, and or subscribe, as well as share the channel with anybody that might be interested. I also now have a donation, I also have a PayPal, so, and the uh, description to donate is down in the description below. If you would like to help support the channel and support other new games coming out, uh, feel free to donate. Even if you don't have any money, just spread the word around, uh, would be very helpful. Uh, thank you very much. Since when do you care about what other people think about you? I don't care what most people think about me, but there are some whose opinions really do matter. <gasps> like us, Spencer. Because I'm so hurt right now. I'm so hurt right now. I thought I could trust you. I thought you were the good... I thought you were a good boy. No, the bestest boy. And you betrayed us. Like my... Yep. Like mine. Yeah, your opinion matters a lot. The money here is just too good to pass up, though, and if you couldn't tell, I could pull in quite a bit. I believe it. Look at your body. I don't see why people were throwing so much at you. Oh, yeah, you're, you've not seen me without a shirt in a while, have you? Spencer lowered his hands to his hips for a moment, giving you a chance to check out his chest and abs. <sighs> Hold on, I need some more water. I need more water. I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty, guys. Spencer lowered his hands to his hips for a moment, giving you a chance to check out his chest and abs. Everyone here certainly enjoys it. The job is a big reason for me to keep in shape. Y yeah, I bet you look you really look good. Thanks. Yeah, I want you to be honest with me, Mark. Oh, then get stuffed up again. Does does my work bother you? How do you feel about it? <sighs> We're gonna say it does it. Because I know his, well, he said our opinion really matters, and I feel like if he said bothered, he would get really hurt by it. And we're trying to be supportive. We, we're trying to be supportive. I, we're not going to be, I don't want to be, a, uh, you know, I don't want to be a terrible person to be like, oh yeah, like I, I you know, a terrible friend to be like, oh yeah, like your job is terrible. You're a horrible person. Why does that just, yeah, we're going to, we're going to support him. Really, it doesn't bother me any. You have a job, you make good money with it, and you seem to actually enjoy what you're doing. The three, the three holy trinities of a job. Having a job, making a lot of money with it, and being happy with it. My job only has one of the trinities. I have a job. I make bad money with it, and I don't enjoy it at all what I do, sadly. Maybe one day I'll find a job that I do, but right now my, my job is horrible. I, I do not like my job at all. And uh, I make no money with it. But um, like I said, um... It's a far fetch, but maybe one day in the future, who knows? I can maybe be doing YouTube, or uh, maybe I'll even be writing. Maybe I'll even do freelance writing. One day, I hope. That's my dream. You have a job? Oh wait, I already said this. If anything, I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm glad you feel that way about it. Believe it or not, I do enjoy what I do. It's freeing, you know. Oh yes, yeah, Spencer. Oh Spencer, stop, cause, cause I know what you mean. Oh, I would. Mm. To, to sound a little weird, I would, at once, at even just one time, I would like to attempt to do strip, do uh, pole dancing. And I mean a public place. I'm a shy as hell, but I completely get what you said when you said freeing, because I always thought about doing it, like, one time. Just, even once, just to see what it is. And I can imagine I would be so happy with it. I've always felt like I'm the good kid, like I was confined, behaved, good grades, played sports. I never did anything to step out of line, but when I started at this job, I started to feel different. I felt happier. I felt more alive. But I was starting to feel a bit ashamed, even. I was doing something that other people might not approve of, so it's been kind of a double-edged sword. Now, though, despite how much I wanted to hide this from everyone and keep it a secret, I'm relieved. Someone knows now, and, well, I'm glad it was you that found out. That is something I do plan on doing for my uh, future boyfriend. Um, Like, not no joke. Like, uh, I would love to when I, I get a boyfriend, um, go to dance classes. Not necessarily pole dances, but just dance classes. Like, I really do, would love to have... I'm I'm a very... We'll, we'll leave it at that. I'm a very adventurous person uh, in, in more, more ways than one. <laughs> so, uh, take that how you will. So, can I ask you something now? What is it? 
I saw while you were out there all those people just touching you, grabbing at you, trying to grope you. Doesn't that bother you? <laughs> Probably does, but uh, comes with the <clears throat> it comes with the job. At first, it bothered me, but as time went along, I started to get used to it. Most of the time now, I don't even notice. I even use it to my advantage. Some people toss the money my way just to feel something. Though the hands aren't allowed between my legs, that's where I draw the line still. Some of the other guys here tell me I shouldn't be so reserved about that because I could make even more money. But there are some things I don't want strangers grabbing. That's reserved for someone else. Ooh, Spencer. Spencer, are you... Are you, uh... Are you insinuating something? Um... Who who's this someone else? Would you like would you like to tell us, Spencer? It's bound to happen though, right? It happens from time to time, but as soon as I feel anything graze my pants, I'm already moving around to avoid it. I have to make it seem playful though, and some people like being teased that way. Uh yeah. Um I can understand that. I am a huge tease. Like when I say I'm a huge tease, like I mean very, very I love teasing. I love being the teaser. So someone does get lucky from time to time. You could say that. It can't be avoided all the time. You jealous? What? No. I mean, if you really want to see what it feels like. Ooh. Spen Spencer. What? Ooh. He is. Mm. Spencer stepped closer to you, showing off a pearly grin. S S Spencer. What? He was only injured from you. He started to laugh. <laughs> I'm only teasing you, Mark. You can relax. Man, look at you. You're all sorts of flustered. You alright? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. Just didn't expect that. Threw me off. Gotta keep up the act while I'm at work. Yeah, gotta keep up the act. Hey, don't take that personally. I'm not. Just don't tease me like that again. It's fine, then. I'll just tease the people paying me. Anyway, what are you gonna do now? You took the bus out here, didn't you? I did. They run late tonight, so I figured I could spend some time bothering you. That was my initial plan, at least. Now, though, I guess I'll head home. Seeing you got a job that I probably shouldn't distract you from. Well, it'd be a waste if you just went home now. How about you have a couple of drinks while you're here? They are half price for guys, remember? I guess I could do that. I think I can afford a drink. Doesn't pull out a bill out of his pocket and handed it to you. Give me one moment, guys. I have to use the restroom, and I'm going to go get some more water. I will be right back. Enjoy the lovely image of good, good of, uh, no, 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 what was his name? White Thunder! Enjoy the view of White Thunder and, uh, and me for a moment while I go get a drink. Be right back, guys.
All right, and welcome back, guys. I am back. It didn't take too long, did it? Oh, that's a, uh, another thing also with the donations are helping. Um, I didn't mention. The donations are also helping me to get a webcam because I would like you guys to start seeing my beautiful, pretty face. So, um, that is another thing that I'm working on getting, a uh, webcam. A good one. A good, you know, reasonable quality webcam. <clears throat> Alright, anyway, back to our lovely best boy. Here's a 20. Buy yourself a few drinks, alright? Stick around a bit and have some fun. Neither of us have class in the morning, so what's the point in heading out so early? But, are you sure? I don't want things to feel awkward for you, for you with me being around. Oh, MC, MC. Oh, Mark. <laughs> oh, Mark. I think things couldn't get any more awkward if they tried, unless Spencer just pulled his pants and his underwear and his Speedo down. Things couldn't get more awkward. Thank you, Spencer. I don't think it can get any more awkward than it already was. You caught me already, so enjoy the time while you're here. I really need to get back out there, though. I'll keep a check on you. Grab a table between the bar and stage, and I'll stop by to get your drink order. Sound good? Okay, sounds like a good idea. Good, just follow me back in, then I'll have to split for a moment. Also, guys, the audio is working okay, right? Everybody can hear fine. Everybody's enjoying the voices for the most part, correct? Um, just to make sure there's no audio issues, definitely. Because don't be afraid to tell me if you're hearing some audio issues. Um, just just let me know so I can fix it. And I want you guys to have the best experience um, while I'm going through this. So, that's the only reason why I ask. <clears throat> I'm gonna see. Sure. See, thank you. Thank you. Uh, sure. Of course, good. How's this? Or is it still too low? Perfect. Okay. Sorry, I, I lowered it earlier because the um, the cafe music was a little too loud for me. Uh, so I kind of forgot to switch it back. Um, we're going to save here too because I really do want to get a good screenshot of uh, of this. So we're going to make another... Put it right here. Yeah. You followed Spencer back through the doors and once you were back in the main club, he left you to find a seat. There was a table pushed against the wall in the area he told you to sit at. So you sat down and looked around the club. The stage had a Dalmatian dressed up as a fireman dancing around, losing pieces of his clothes every few seconds. He was built just like Spencer, but his fur wasn't as fluffy. The canine eventually ended up in nothing more than a bright yellow speedo, and you couldn't help but stare while he spun around and grinded on the pole. Lost in, <clears throat> lost in thought there. At Spence, I was just thinking, yeah. Uh-huh, what's, what's so on your mind that you're staring at the stage so intently? Uh, well, do you do that too? Dance? Yeah, you saw me up there already, so why would you ask that? I mean, do you strip down as much as him? Oh, that. I I have a couple of times. It's normally up to the dancer, really. But, depends on the crowd and how much money I'm making. Tonight is a pretty good crowd, too. B but I don't know if I'm feeling that tonight. Is it because I'm here now? Urgh. It's lack of eye contact and refusal of answering answered for you. Spence, I can leave if that makes you uncomfortable. I, I know you said to have fun, but I don't want to hinder you at your job. I, I don't mind that you're here to watch, but I don't want to look silly in front of you. Well, I've already seen part of your show, haven't I? True, I'm not sure it's still. We'll see how the night plays out. Anyway, what can I get you to drink tonight? First one is on the house. But you gave me money to pay for it. Doesn't matter. What do you have, sir? What do you have, sir? He's snickered when he called you that, and you could see his eyes flick around while he stood there. Don't laugh, I'm just trying to do my job. I'm sorry, I'll have a margarita on the rocks. Salted rim. Yeah, that'll be good. I'll be back in just a moment with your drink, then sit tight. Spencer returned just minutes later with your drink. He left it with you and rushed off to deal with the other tables around him. You watched as he bounced from table to table, be it woman or man, men, spending time with all of them. He was constantly checking in your direction, though, and as soon as your drink was gone, he stopped by the table to take your empty glass and bring back a full one. You were enjoying the music and the shows you were watching on stage, but anytime Spencer was around, you had your phone pulled out and were pretending to play with it. <laughs> uh oh. We 
new person, it seemed like. Hey there, would you mind some company? <laughs> oh, it's still the same! Holy shit! Oh my god! What the hell? What the f- Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! I was not ex- I was- I was not expecting that! Holy shit! Wow! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, well, I didn't get that far, but yeah, I could tell this art does not look the same, but it wasn't even the, the art style I wasn't expecting. I was expecting this! I mean, look! Look, look at this! Look! At this! Wow! Oh my god! Um, uh, sure, I don't mind. Stranger joined you at your table and pointed over at a few other people sitting nearby. My friends pointed out you've been sitting here alone for a while, so I figured I'd swing by and chat. I uh, see then, well, I'm Mark. You call me Ty, pleasure to meet you. I've never seen you in here before, first time. Yeah, it is, I've never been to a place like this. Certainly what wasn't what I expected when I got here. Is that so? It's a fun place, that's for sure. Lots of friendly people, and not to mention all the guys that work here. Hmm, speaking of the guys that work here... It's one of my favorites, White Thunder. I see you're already making your next move, Ty. Hey, hey, just stopping to chat with the solo guy here. Mm hmm well, hands off this one. He's a friend of mine, so you'd better be nice to him. A friend, you say? Interesting. Well, don't worry, I'll be gentle with him. Spencer brandished his tray at the guest. He'll tell me if you are. You got that too, Mark. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know. Go ahead and bring him another drink. This one's on me. Friends with him, huh? You happen to play tennis too. Yeah, I do. He's talked about it. A bit, yeah. I think it's something that attracts people to him. Well, aside from that hot body of his. Talking about tennis? Just talking about his life in general. Most of the other guys here don't relate to the customers. He does, though. I guess it makes sense when he says hands off, though. You're probably the one he's mentioned to us. Ty propped his chin on his hand and snorted. Explains why my advances were shot down so easily. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, don't mind my rambling. So tell me, what brought you in here? Well, here's a short version. I didn't know this is where he worked, and I was going to surprise him by just showing up. I only knew the name of the place. Needless to say, when I showed up, we were both in for a huge surprise. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I see, but not as huge as mine, right? Yeah, I went there, guys. I went there. I'm sure that was a bit awkward. Tell me about it. This guy thinks it's a good idea to just show up without letting me know. I seriously thought my heart stopped when I saw him, dragged him out back, had a talk with him, and now I think things are alright. I don't know how I feel about seeing you with your shirt off all the time, though. Just just wait till you get to see him with no pants on. <sighs> Whoa, now, who says he's gonna see that? It's about time for your next show, isn't it? I think you would lose these. He reached over and tugged at the weight of the Spencer's pants, and you noticed some cash left behind when he pulled his hand back. I, I don't know, it seems like a decent crowd tonight, M maybe? Man, I've never seen him so shy about that. Even the first time I saw him on stage, he seemed like a natural. You really have some sway over him. What? No, I don't have anything over him. Trust me, you have power over that guy. I bet if you tossed some bills his way, he'd take it off. At that point, you could feel your face flushing. Oh no, what should I do? Oh no, what should I do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Should I agree or deny? I want to see him take them off. I want to see him take them off. I'm going to go. We're going to save again one more time. We got so many save files right now. Um, Yeah, we're going to agree. <clears throat> you didn't notice, but you had already downed the third drink Sprinter bought to you, and the alcohol was beginning to kick in. <laughs> Maybe he would, but... But only because... <clears throat> sorry. Maybe he would, but only because it's part of his job, not because of me. 
You know, normally I'd agree with you. The more money he's getting, the more clothes he takes off. I don't think it works the same way with you, though. He has something to impress. He has someone to impress watching him. Nah, he doesn't have to impress me. I've always been impressed with him. You've known him a while, huh? Most of, most of my, my life. <clears throat> most of my life, we've been friends for such a long time. Ah, uh, is that so? Well, I can understand how you feel, then. He glanced over at the stage and grabbed your wrist and pulled you towards it. It's about that time, and I don't think you'll want to miss this. Come on. He forced his way through the crowd of people already gathered around the stage and shoved you up against it, standing right behind you where he could see over your shoulder. It looks so weird to see the two different art styles. Uh, it, but, um, I know the game, I think they, I guess the art that says are not being, they're not fully finished yet. <clears throat> You'll have a pretty good view from right here, so don't move. I, I don't know about this. Spencer's just a friend, and keep telling yourself that, and someone else is going to take advantage of it. Besides, you're really going to like this. Here, whenever he starts, just start tossing these out there. He stuffed a roll of bills into your hand and refused to take it back when you tried to return them. I can't, I, I can't do that. Sure you can. I was going to do it myself, but I think you should do it. It's all going to the same place regardless. The music shifted and the lights dimmed a bit to where the stage was no longer as bright, and you heard an announcement over the music. Alright guys and gals, he's back, and it looks like he's been working up a sweat. Let's hear it for White Thunder! Guys, let's hear it. White Thunder! Yeah! And I... <laughs> the people around you erupted into whistling and howling when Spencer emerged from behind the stage curtain and strutted to the center of the stage. He was only a couple of feet away from you and didn't seem to notice you right away. Your heart was beating heavily in your chest now and it felt like it was going to burst free as he started moving around his stage pole. You felt a nudge from behind you and you remembered the bills you had gripped in your hand. Go ahead, toss a couple out there. Should we toss a few or toss a lot? <clears throat> toss a few or toss a lot? Okay, we'll toss a few first. With shaking hands, you pulled a couple of bills from the roll and threw them on stage. Other people around the <clears throat> other people around took the initiative and followed suit, tossing out a handful more to the stage. Spencer's eyes caught yours, having noticed you throw the first bit of cash out. It caused him to stumble, and for a moment he seemed to have lost focus. A sharp whistle from behind you snapped him back to reality, and again you felt a nudge against your back. See that? Throw him some more. Toss a lot. You threw a few more bills onto the stage, and Spencer noticed you doing so. His demeanor changed again, but this time it was different. His dancing heated up, and he looked like he was really starting to get into the groove. People were throwing more money out to him, and the energy from the crowd continued to grow. This time, Spencer leaned his back against the pole with one hand gripping it above him, while he traced the other pole over his chest and then down into his pants. For this moment, he let his tongue hang out before swinging himself back around the pole. The energy generated by everyone was having an effect on you now, and it was mixing with the heavy buzz you had from your drinks. Toss more money. Toss it. The, ne the next few bills you threw higher and with more force into the stage. Ooh, yeah! Spencer's eyes always returned to yours after a quick glance around the crowd, and he couldn't help but keep a grin on his face while watching you throw money his direction. It seemed to drive him further each time. Your heart jumped into your throat when you saw him reach down to his pants and unbutton them. You swallowed hard, your eyes mesmerized by your friend dancing in front of you. His body was pointed directly at you when he hooked his thumbs under the waistband of his pants and started to push them down slowly. He never took his eyes off of you. A green bulge finally dropped, popped out of his pants, and with a final push, his pants dropped to the ground. <gasps> oh, where's- I want to see! 
A flurry of bills ran up to the stage and the people around exploded with ear-piercing whistles and hollers. Spencer winked at you, your face slack-jawed and staring in disbelief. Oh yeah, I told you. You could feel your pants tightening around your crotch while Spencer picked up his pace, being free of most of his clothes. He spun around the pole, flashing his tail at you here and there, but he always kept it hanging down to hide most of his rear. Your head was swimming, and the only thing you could hear was the music now. Aside from that, the only thing that existed right now was Spencer. He hadn't moved his eyes from you in such in some time now either, and that went on for some several minutes. Eventually, the lights began to fade more, and Spencer slid down to his knees with his back against the pole, bringing his performance to an end. There was a final shower of bills thrown at him as he panted heavily, staring at you from his position on stage. Hands reached out to him, but none of them were in range to touch. You realize you still had a roll of bills in your hand, and you were the only person at that stage and reached Spencer. With a quivering hand, you reached out with the remaining money. Spencer's breathing was heavy, and his eyes were watching your hand intently. As your hand drew closer, someone pushed you from behind and caused the money to slip from your fingers and fall to the stage. The canine chuckled and gave you a shrug, looking more embarrassed now than you ever had seen him. Man, that was a great show. A head popped up beside yours, and suddenly you felt a hand grope between your legs. Whoa! Oh man, and I think someone else really enjoyed it. Your hands grew wide, and you pushed the hand away immediately. At that moment, Spencer was leaned forward on his paws, and his neck fur was bristled up. What, what the hell? Dude, Ty, what the hell? What I'd say earlier about keeping your hands off. Whoa, 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 chill. It was just a friendly grope. It's not friendly when it's some, some, something someone doesn't want. You, can, you can't just grab someone like that. You sorry, guys. Oh, well, I saw what I wanted tonight, and I'm sure he did, too. Just don't forget who made it all possible. With a squeeze of your butt, Ty walked off. Spencer was ready to lunge off the stage, but you put your hands up against his chest. D don't worry about it, Spencer. He's not worth the headache. Other people are already staring now. Right. He's normally not that kind of guy, but maybe he's had a bit too much to drink tonight. You still had your hands against Spencer's sweat-covered chest, and he fell back suddenly. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'll meet you back at your table, alright? Spencer... <laughs> Spencer popped a little panel up on the edge of the stage and pushed a button, triggering a curtain to fall down around him to block your view of him. You spun around, still loopy from your drinks, then wandered back to your table and plopped down into your chair. Fifteen or so minutes passed before Spencer joined you back at your table. Hey, Mark. Ah, you're back. Here, I brought you some water. I figured you'd ha not have any... <clears throat> I figured you've not had it, had any since you got here. Thanks, really needed it. He sat down at the table with you, staring off your shoulder while you chugged your water. So, you want a break or something? Nah, my shift is done. It's getting pretty late, you know. Is it? I lost all track of time. I should probably leave soon so I don't miss the bus. About that, I'm gonna take you home tonight. You don't have to do that. Taking the bus is no big deal. You've been drinking, so I'd feel better you taking you home instead of leaving it to the bus. Besides, we we have some things to talk about. How about we get you home? Oh, uh, okay then. Of course he wants to talk. This is going to be the most awkward conversation in the world. I should have drunk more. Oh boy. The drive started off silent, but Spencer broke it off once he was on the freeway leaning home. Oh, and he's got his lumberjack uniform on. Well, tonight was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, I wasn't expecting any of that. No doubt, I wasn't expecting my night to go that way either. I ended up making a lot of money tonight. Which leads me to one of the things I wanted to ask you about. Where'd you get the money? And don't even try to lie to me about it. Oh, uh, that guy. Really? Ty gave that to you? He said he was going to use it that way anyway, but that it would be better if I used it. Is that so? <clears throat> Is that so? Makes sense, I guess. Uh, in that case, what did you think of the place? It's a cool place, good music, fun atmosphere, and the drinks were good, too. And the shows? Uh, well, they, um... Did, they were good. You really seemed like you were having fun up there. I really never expected to, uh, see you like that. Yeah, and I never expected to have you, th have you throwing money at me. As you passed under lights, you could see him grinning while he spoke. And you really started to get into it, too. What's up with that? I was buzzed, and everyone around me was really into it, too. Not to mention the guy that gave me the money kept encouraging me to throw more at you. Is that so? But you, uh, you were doing really good. 
Seeing you like that... Yeah. I can see why you made so much money tonight. Why do you think that is? Well, you... Man, this is really awkward, Spitz. You know why. You don't need me to tell you. <laughs> I suppose so. I just want to hear you say it. You're intentionally making this hard for me, aren't you? From what I found out, making things hard for you is something I'm good at. You opened your mouth to... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Spin, stop being such a tease! Man, I thought I was a tease! This guy is making me so... Oh, man. Oh, I love you, Spin. Whew! You opened your mouth to reply, but then it occurred to you when he was referring to it, you were suddenly too embarrassed to say anything more. Neither of you said anything until you were parked at the shelter. Alright, here we are. Yeah, thanks for bringing me back. You're welcome. Just next time, tell me you're gonna show up. Just next time, tell me you're gonna show up. I don't like being surprised like that. Next time? You're gonna go back, right? I mean, you had fun, didn't you? Oh, Spence wants us to come back. He's like, you're gonna... He's like, you're gonna come back, right? Please, please, please. Well, yeah, I did, but... Then that's enough of a reason to go back. Besides, that's the most, most I've ever made in one night, so you're good luck. Oh, we're his good luck charm! <laughs> You have to go back sometime, alright? Okay, sure. I'll go back again. Good. And Mark? I'm glad you showed up tonight. Me too. Spence, I... Yeah? I guess I'll see you at practice tomorrow. Oh yeah, you'll see me there. Go get some sleep now. Sleep well, buddy. You too, Spence. He stepped out of the car and waved him as he drove off before you went to your room. Oh, no kiss yet! This is the perfect moment! Where, where is our kiss? Where is our kiss? It would have been so perfect. You fell face first onto your bed and groaned into your pillow. Oh, Spencer, why? That moment. I should have just told you how I felt right there. Something kept me from it, though. I don't know how I'd feel if you didn't feel the same way I do. Give me some kind of sign that you... Wait a moment. He was so mad when that guy felt me up and he had to tell me to keep his hands off me. I've never spe seen Spencer like that before. He was really worked up over it to the point he was ready to pounce on the guy. I didn't think about it at the time. Spencer's protected me from boys in the past, but never did he act like that. He acted like a dog whose territory was being enroached en upon. And thinking about it that way, I wonder if I could fish out that reaction again. I might have to test that. Ooh. Okay, guys, we're going to do one more day. We're going to finish day eight, and then we're going to stop. So after this day, the streams, we're going to stop. Oh, things are getting spicy, too. Ooh. I'm, I'm, I'm still thirsty, guys. I'm not getting enough water. I'm not getting enough, I'm not getting enough water. Mm. Man, last night was a little crazy. Yeah, we're gonna finish. Oh, is it? We're gonna finish this day. Don't worry, we're gonna finish it. I said after this day, we're gonna stop. Man, last night was a little crazy. Never thought I'd find Spencer working in a strip club and dancing on stage like that. I wonder how he's gonna act at practice. I hope he doesn't doesn't affect him too much. Good afternoon, Mark. Ah, oh, oh, Maria. Good afternoon. I didn't mean to startle you. Is everything okay? Oh yeah, everything is fine. I was just lost in thought, is all. I see. So how did things go last night? Did you have a good time? Uh, yeah, it was great. I had a lot of fun. It was an interesting place, to say the least. No doubt. Look at how flushed your face is. I, kn I knew the place sounded familiar when you mentioned it to me, and it occurred to me after you left what it was. Yeah, Ma yeah, Maria, I'm sure after. I'm sure after we left, you realized what the place was. Maria, I, I, I'm not an idiot. I know what your sick, twisted game is. I know what you were trying to do. Uh, so you knew you know what the place is? Why yes, I used to go every now and then myself, dear. It's been some time since I was last there, though. So is it Spencer that works there? Um, yeah, he does. Maria sat down for you at the table and laughed. Don't be so embarrassed about it. You, you didn't know anything about where you were going last night, other than your friend worked there. Though I'm surprised you didn't look more into it. So tell me, did you find him? I, I did find him. He wasn't too happy about it at first. I don't doubt that at all. I'm sure you're the last person he expected to see there. 
Yeah, but things didn't turn out too bad. He told me to stay, then he brought me home last night. Oh, I see. Sounds like it was an exciting night then. Uh, I guess you could say that. It was pretty exciting. I hope things work out between you two. He seems like a nice one, so you better not let that chance slip by. I'll, I'll try not to let it pass by. I gotta get going, though. I have practice soon. Okay, then have a good practice. Let me know if anything happens. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tell you. Let's see, it looks like Darius is the only one here so far. That's good for me. Oh boy! Oh, you ready for my Darius voice? It's like, oh, you ready for my Darius voice? Hey, Darius. Yo, Mark, looks like we're both in a bit early today. Seems that way. You haven't seen anyone else yet? By the way, I love Darius' sprite. Darius has a very good sprite. <clears throat> no, not yet. Looking for spins. Uh, no. Not really. Hmm, <laughs> sure. N no, I'm not. I actually wanted to talk to you. Oh, ooh. Oh, you want to talk to me? Things not working out with Spencer. That's not it. I, uh, uh, how do I put this? I want to find out if Spencer does have a thing for me. Then just tell him. But what if he doesn't? Dude, he does. Just tell him. It's not that hard. I mean, it's not as hard as, um, as, uh, me right now. Maybe for someone like you, I had something else in mind? Something else? I'm curious to see if he's the jealous type. And you're telling me this- And you're telling me this because... Wait, I think I know what's going on here. You need me for this, huh? Uh, well... Say no more, I know what to do. But you know, telling him you want to bone him would be way easier. So, do I have any boundaries? Um... I... I guess not. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. Um... Darius is the kind of people I like. Like, I really like the fucking flirty ones. I'm just gonna say that now. I really do. Like, I love the flirty types. Like... I love... I love the teasers and flirty ones. Like... Listen. That's all you have to do to me, and I'll be done. Like, I, I will just be like, Alright, I'm ready. Think, all right be like would you like would you like me to do it now or later all right well then I have something in mind this should be fun Darius smirked and looked at you over a moment you were starting to regret what you had done oh yeah this will be a lot of fun if it goes how I'm thinking we what are you thinking exactly I can't tell you otherwise we'll lose the effect just now this should work out perfectly looks like Spence is here now so I'll leave you to him for now just what does he have planned already? I guess I'll find out soon enough. Ready for a good practice, Mark? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it should be a good one today. He seems fine. Maybe he's just gonna act like nothing happened yesterday. You all, you all right? Did you get enough sleep after being out so late last night? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. I was just thinking about something else. Nah, that's okay, Bad Coot. Um, we all have our favorite ones. Um, I think all of us can easily say that we all love the characters in this game. All of them have something you like. Um, just preference, ma just preference mainly. Um, for me, it would, for me, it would be Spence, Coach, Chester, Dozer, and Darius. Now, again, yes, Darius is technically last for me. But, again, it's not because I don't think he's a great character. I think everybody is. For me, personally, it's just I've seen so many characters like that in visual novels. That's the only reason why he's at the bottom of the list for me. And I just I just enjoy Spencer. For one, because I love dogs. Um, <laughs> um, and you guys know what I mean by that. I don't mean what you guys think. Um, I'm a sucker for dogs. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm excited because... Dinewolf has said that Richard will be an actual route. I'm very curious. I'm very curious to see what that's going to be like. <laughs> try not, try not to get distracted today. We don't need you getting hit by any balls. But Spencer, I, <sighs> Spencer, I do want to get hit by balls. Just only certain balls. That's all. Just not too hard, okay? I mean, I could, I could take, I could take them.
What? You don't like cats? How dare you? Oh. False. That really is. That that is that is exactly what Terry's like. <laughs> Uh, that is literally a reaction I can see him making. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that, that's for sure. Speaking of balls... Oh man, I'm really gonna be distracted today. All I can think about is last night when I see him right now. You were just... You were just staring at him, and it took him waving his paw at you to snap you out of him. Hello, you were just staring into space now. You sure you're alright? Yeah, I'm good. How about we stretch and start getting warmed up? Good idea. The others should be here soon, and we'll all be ready. I think one of the best Darius voices I've heard is Decker Link's. I really wish I could do that voice because I, cause I love his, I love his Darius voice. It's, it's so mesmerizing. So, I was like, it sounds exactly like I think Darius. It's exactly how I think Darius would sound like. He, he loves to make all the boys happy. Gotta keep focused today. It doesn't seem like it's bothering him any, so am I letting it affect me so much? Sure, Snake Lord. What favor do you have of me? Uh, why'd I go and say something to Darius? I, d I don't know what he's planning either, so that's gonna distract me too. With a heavy sigh, you followed Spencer to the edge of the courts to begin your stretching routine. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! Snake Lord, you're putting me in a predicament here! <laughs> oh, you're putting me in a predicament here. Um, okay. <sighs> Alright, I, I guess I could try. As Spencer said, the rest of the team showed up while you were stretching. Everyone had joined up and was making conversation while getting ready for practice. But only when I do his route. Alright everybody, today we're going to be running some new drills. This one is called Monkey on a String. We're going to have three people on each side of the court. The match will be played like normal, but there is one important rule here. Players can only move along designated lines with the court. One player will be playing in the middle of the court, only using the two center lines. The other two are only allowed to travel half of the baseline and the sidelines of the court. Since there will be three points on each court, you'll have to place your shots to score points. Spencer, Darius, and Mark, I want you on one side, and I'll be with Dozer and Chester on the other. Decide where everyone will be, then we'll get started. Alright, so who's gonna be where? Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. Um, let Spencer tell her where to go. Darius is a, is a fine playboy. He doesn't let anybody tell him what to do. He's just a wonderful, wonderful big old cuddly lion with a little bit of a hard side, some if you know what I mean. All right, so who's gonna be where? Um, I don't know this choice. Will I tell everybody where to go, or let Spencer? I'll let Spencer. Where do you think we should be, Spence? Darius, take the middle. I'll take the back right, and Mark can take the back left. Mark, you need, you still need to work with your backhand shot, so that side will give you a bigger chance. And Darius will get the chance to practice his drop shot accurately. Can I just say, I'm really weird when it comes to kinks, because, like, I like a lot of them, and it's like, like, on one hand, I love the daddy kink, and on another hand, I love the, um, the... Hopefully you guys get what I mean. I like the boy kink. Now, please understand, no way in hell does that mean I like underage. That means I do not like underage. It just means I like that kink, as in the sense of you being the big one and your partner being the smaller one. Okay. Okay, Bad Coon. Well, I did say I, I told him I'd do the, the Papa Bear thing, so. How's that? Good with me. Yep, that'll, yep, that'll work. The three of you slept, the three of you split up to your designated spots on the court and let the coach know you were all ready to start. The game started off as off chaotic as everyone became accustomed to only moving in a few directions, but once everyone got the hang of it, things started getting competitive. Spencer had to depend more on you and Darius in this drill. It felt like the other three were trying to avoid hitting it to Spencer when possible, but it wasn't always avoidable. Your mind had started to wander less and it was easier for you to focus now that you were actually playing. 
Though during your breaks, you noticed Darius. <laughs> Though during your breaks, you noticed Darius was playing with his phone more than usual. He was checking it every chance he got. You've been messing with your phone a lot. What are you doing? Texting someone, nothing important. So don't worry your little head. Darius grinned and smacked your butt when he walked past you. Ooh, ooh, Darius. Ooh, ooh, Darius. Not so hard, lion, Mr. Lion. I swear, Darius has no set of boundaries with anyone, does he? Doesn't seem so. I'd just like to see him try that with me. He'd be in for a rude surprise. <laughs> oh no, not the fit! <laughs> Dude, our, our, our MC. Oh my god, the, the sprite again. Our MC sprite again. Dude, like, he got so excited when he thought about Derry smacking his ass. He's like, he's like, oh! He's like, oh! Good-looking! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> what if I- What if I tried that? <laughs> well, you're not dead- Ooh! Ooh, Spins! Oh, Spins! Oh! Well, you're not- Well, you're not Darius. Besides, you've already gotten closer than that, haven't you? He flicked his tail at you with a grin before heading back to the court to continue the match. I've not gotten close enough yet, just wait though. Practice continued like normal with the team rotating their line positions and court sides periodically until everyone had played all of their positions. With everyone having been all across the court, coach decided to call practice for the day. You guys had been playing for hours now and everyone's making improvements. Well, that was a pretty good practice today, don't you think? Oh, I'm sorry, bad coon. Well, that's why I'm glad I'm the only one home, too, because uh, I know my uh, I know my mother would be a little worried. She'd be like, what are you doing? She'd be like, she'd be like, she'd be like what are you doing? Um, I'd be like, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Just, just, you know, just my breathing. <gasps> just, I'm so thirsty. <gasps> just like that. Oh. You know, I, I did this, this water is helping a little bit. Yeah, it was fun too. It's hard playing on the same court as Chester, though. He tends to be all over the place. I noticed. Anyway, you want to ride home? I don't mind taking you since I know where you live now. <gasps> Snake, Snake Lord, you called us a... <laughs> Snake Lord, you called us a disappointment! Oh! <laughs> Uh, that'd be great. I would appreciate it. Let me just grab my bag and stuff. <laughs> I don't know how that voice sounded because I'm not listening in right now, but you can tell me how that voice sounded. <laughs> I don't know how to sound. I'm sure I'll hear it when I play this back later when I rewatch it. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I haven't listened to it. Well, but I said the thing is Darius. What thing is Darius? Oh, no, because I want to do it. What is it, real quick? What, you don't like cats? Or which one are you talking about? Re repost the line. I'm going to do it real quick. <laughs> do it. Do it. Show, show me the lines that you <laughs> wanted me to do. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun doing these games. I might, I, I might get back into live streaming more than I do recording. The Goo Lounge and uh, uh, Neko Jissy, I'll finish them because I started recording them, but... Oh man. Stew it. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, I love the way you think, Bad Coon. Uh, stew it. Um, mm, I mean, what do you want to stew? Uh, because I got a piping hot cup of ass right here for you. Guys, 
Guys, you can quote me on that. I have a piping hot cup of ass here for you. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. <laughs> As you were getting your item, Darius came up to you with a canned drink and he had offering it to you. Here's a cold drink for you, mug. Oh, thanks, Darius. I can use this right now. When you opened the can, the contents of it gushed out, spraying all over you in a wet, sticky mess. <laughs> oh, man, it's all over the place. Did you shake the can up before handing it to me? Theirs looked like he was trying to suppress a laugh, but he shook his head. <laughs> nah, I didn't. <clears throat> nah, I didn't do that. I can't ride in Spencer's car like this. I don't want to get the mess all over his seat. I guess you should go to the locker room and clean up, huh? Darius raised his brows and motioned over at Spencer. The canine hadn't seen what happened just yet. Is this all part of whatever he's planted? Maybe I should listen up. What happened here? Mark, you're covered in soda. Uh, this can erupted when I opened it. Sorry, Spence. Do you mind waiting for me while I clean up in the locker room real fast? Uh, yeah, I'll wait. You have extra clothes with you? I have some in my bag. It shouldn't be too long. Alright, I'll wait. I'll keep him company too, Spence. Don't worry. How about you How about you wait here with me, Darius? Where's the, where's the fun in that? There isn't any. I think Mark will be fine by himself. Huh, okay, if you say so, I'll keep the company instead. Fine. Oh, this is a little loud. I'm gonna mute the music just a little bit. Just a little bit. And this is new music, but and I don't. Well, again, I haven't really gotten this far, so I don't know too much of what happens. Uh, I hate this wet, sticky feeling so much, especially when I've been hot and sweaty. Ooh, ooh, I hate this wet, sticky mess feeling so much, especially when I've been hot and sweaty. Especially when I've been hot and sweaty. What are you planning, Darius? There were only a couple of people in the locker room at the moment, so you didn't mind pulling off your shirt to wash yourself at the sink. When you were done, you returned to your locker out of sight of everyone else and pulled your shorts off to swap them with clean ones. While shuffling through your bag for your shorts, someone else appeared behind you. He was a little bigger than you, and he would stand a bit closer than you'd like. Hey there. Oh, um, hi? What you doing? What you doing hiding way back here when nobody else is? is? You hiding that cute butt of yours. I, I normally change here. I always use the same locker. It's a bit more private. You weren't able to find your... You weren't able to find your short, so you were just... Okay, uh, Snake Lord, thank you for letting me uh, know. You weren't able to find your short, so you were just standing there in your underwear while the guy spoke to you. Looking for these? He was holding your clean shorts in his hands with a devious smirk on his face. Why do you have my shorts? Would you mind giving them back to me? Sure, I don't mind. He stepped closer to you, and, he was so were and you were suddenly pinned with your back against the lockers, his chest pressing heavily against you. Hey, wh what are you doing? I'll give your shorts back to you under one condition. You were trapped between his arms and the lockers. You were beyond uncomfortable now, and you opened your mouth to shout, but a hand was cupped over your mouth quickly. Ooh, uh, okay, I don't know if this is Darius or not, because this is getting a little... This is getting a little aggressive. I'm a little worried. I hope there's nothing serious going to happen coming up. Because I do know... I know in Chester's route, there's something... I, I heard there's something pretty uh, pretty graphic and dark in that. But I didn't know anyone else's route. No, no, no. I know it's not Darius. I said... I said I, I don't know if this is part of Darius's plan. Now, now. None of that. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you or anything. What do you want from me? I don't know who you are. I don't want any anything, to be honest with you, but while I'm here, I might as well have some fun. The larger male moved his hand down to your thigh and grabbed it before slipping it around to squeeze your butt. P please, just let me get dressed. Someone is waiting on me. You tried to push him off of you, but he was clearly stronger than you wasn't budging. Any time now? What? He leaned his head towards you like he was getting ready to kiss you. You didn't know what to do. Mark! The one leaned against you turned his attention to the side where Spencer was standing. Oh, he's pissed. Looks like someone looks like someone found us. The hell's going on here? Who are you? That's none of your concern. Why don't you get lost? Just having a little fun with Mark is all. How does he know my name? You 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 know this guy? No, I I have no idea who he is. Oh, baby, don't talk like that. Back off of him. He's just playing shy now since someone caught us. I said, back off! 
Spitzer didn't waste any more time talking, and he rushed forward, taking a swing at the big guy. He jumped back, and Spitzer's fish coll Spitzer's fish Spitzer's fist collided with a locker instead. Whoa, there, fella! You might want to chill. A couple of other people had popped up after the commotion started. Spitzer was breathing heavily, staring down the one that you pinned. You should prob you should probably be the one that gets lost. Uh, if you say so, I'll see you later, Mark. He threw your shorts back to you and vanished. After a moment, the other people that had shown up dispersed as well, leaving you and Spencer alone. Who was that? With Spencer glaring at you, you quickly pulled on your shorts and short. Shirt. Shorts and shirt. I, I don't know, Spence. Really? Because he certainly seemed to know you. Spencer, why would I lie to you about that? I don't know who that was. And he was being pretty friendly with you, too. It looked like I don't think a stranger would be fooling around like that with you. I really don't know who he is. He came up out of nowhere and he had my shorts. He he wanted something in return for my shorts. You think I'm lying about that? Spencer, do you really think I would lie about this? No, I know you wouldn't lie about it. Sorry, Mark. Jeez, the guy has me pinned up against the locker and you're just concerned that I'm just, what, fooling around with him? Why is that such a big deal anyway? What if I did know? What if I did know him, huh? Why should that matter to you? <clears throat> Um, I'm sorry, I, I just... Spencer cradles his hand against his chest and you noticed he was bleeding. Oh, jeez, look at your knuckles. He grabbed his paw and looked it over with a loud sigh. You're such an idiot, Spencer. We need to take you to the infirmary and get this checked out. It's fine, just butts the skin, I'm sure. But it could be more. I'll be fine, just give me some wet paper towels. Okay. How'd that guy know my name? No, there's no way. Darius was... This all you're doing? I'll find out later, I guess. Here, Spence. Uh, thanks. He sat down, Spence, on the bench while he cleaned up the blood. He winced whenever he touched his knuckles, but you knew he'd not let you... You knew he'd not... I, I think that's a... I think that's a, an issue. I think it should be... You knew he would not... He wouldn't. Even wouldn't's not good either. You knew he would not let you take him to the nurse. <laughs> hey. What is it? Does it really bother you that much to see another guy with his hands with me? I mean, you acted the same way last night in the club. I... I've never seen you so angry. Uh, well, Mark, you see... It, it really does bother me. It bothers me more than you could imagine. Okay, it ain't really? Okay. Uh, maybe I'm just getting tongue-tied. More than I could imagine, huh? Maybe I can imagine how it feels, Spence. What do you mean? Man... How do I say this? I... Oh, Snow, you don't have to retract your messages. I see you retracting your messages. You can, you can keep them in here. I want to see everybody talking here. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think wouldn't would go better than... I think wouldn't would have been... Would have been a better word than he not. I, I feel the same way when I think about your job. Other people touching you, feeling you up, I get... Jealous. I don't want them touching you. I I want to be those people. Spencer, I don't know how else to say this, but I know we're friends. Hell, you're my best friend. I don't know where I'd be without you. And for a while now I've I've had deeper feelings developing for you. Mark, are you coming out to me? I what I I guess you could say that I am, but that's not whew, that's a relief. It is? It makes it easier for me to do the same. What? I've been waiting a long time for this, Mark. I was never fully sure if you were gay, so I never said anything. But you made it pretty easy to come out to you now. So, you're gay too? <laughs> yeah, hard to believe, isn't it? I'm so good with the ladies, but when it comes to guys, I'm not as smooth, you know? I learned a thing or two at the club, but that never helped me get closer to you. I was always worried about you just turning me away. I guess that was pointless worry. So then... You and me? He put his hand on top of yours and gave it a squeeze. If you want to give it a shot. Ooh! <laughs> oh, we finally did it. Yes, this wasn't. A, I'm glad I. I'm glad I decided to finish this day off. This. Ooh. We've been friends for ages, so we've got the knowing each other part down. I mean, the next step is. <sighs> of course, I want to say, sex, but. Obviously, we're going to say date, because we're trying to have an actual relationship. So, we're going to obviously say date. 
to go on a date? Yes, Bad Coon, believe me, I want to say that, but I know that's not the right answer. I mean, we we want to have a relationship. We're not just trying to have a one-night stand, so. To go on a date? On a date, huh? That sounds like a good idea. How about it, then? Would you like to go out on a date with me, Mark? Yeah, a date would be fun. So, I guess I'll look at my schedule and see what I, ha what I have a free night. And we can set something up from there. How's that? Okay, that sounds like a good idea. The two of you sat... Really? Okay, let me go back then. Um, oh, they both are right. I don't know. I kind of want to say... If they're both right, I kind of want to say sex. Alright, this is what we'll do. Oh, can I go back? Please let me go back. So we're going to save, and I'm going to say sex and see what happens. I just want to see what, what the dialogue is. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. To have sex? <laughs> Spencer barked and laughed from surprise. Oh, now you're... <laughs> Whoa, now you're jumping way ahead there. How about we just go on a date first? Yeah, date would be fun. Oh, um, okay. There's, there's not much difference. He just kind of laughs it off. He's like, how about we go on a date first? Okay, we're going to go back. We're going to keep date. <laughs> Oh, wait. That's fine. <clears throat> I guess I should get you home, huh? Oh, yeah. I suppose so. I'm cleaned up, so we can head out. The drive from the school to the shelter was a short one, and Spencer was lost in thought the whole time. Wait! Bad coup. Does that actually affect the? Does that affect the sex scene? Cause the way you're talking, I'm thinking it affects the sex scene. Cause if it does, I'm gonna say sex. Because um, I know somebody said something about um he is a bottom, and then I heard, and then I heard somebody else say something about he's a. They think he's a switch. Is he a switch? The only reason I re remember he's a bottom is because yesterday I was watching one of Oki Cookie streams, which by the way was great. Um, and he was mentioning about EA, somebody mentioned EA, and he was talking about he didn't really, something basically, he didn't really like that Spitz was a bottom and blah blah blah. Um, that's besides the point. Huh. I'm gonna keep going now, and we'll end the day, and later on, I will just see what happens with that, because I made another save file, so I'll see what happens. See what happens. I'll answer sex and save. So you... So you really didn't know who that guy was? I kind of do. Um, me personally, in real life, I would call myself a switch. But I do like... I, a lot of times in visual novels, you always play the top. And sometimes that gets boring. That's my that's my thing. I'm like, it's kind of... Sometimes it gets so boring to see the same thing. That's why I'm like, I kind of would like to be the bottom. My character be the bottom for once. Um, we'll come back to it. I'll, I'll come back to it. No clue. I was looking for my shorts, and he had them. I asked for them back, and he was suddenly on me. I didn't know what to do. He was bigger than me, and I couldn't push him off. Jeez, I'm glad Derry said I should check on you. Did he? Yeah, he said something to feel right. I guess he wasn't joking. Yeah, he wasn't joking. Man, Derry, you really pushed the limits there, but I suppose I'll have to thank you later. Let me check my schedule real quick to see... <clears throat> Let me check my schedule real quick to see when my next night off is. Of course, I won't have the weekend on, so it looks like Thursday night is going to be the best bet for me. That work for you? Yeah, Thursday would be fine. I have nothing to do, really. Okay, I guess it's a date then. Thursday night, I'll take you out. <laughs> Spence, what do you... That, that, that could have a few meanings with what we just discussed. You'll take us out. Do you mean you'll take us out on a date? You mean you'll kill us? You mean you'll, um... You'll take us out in a, another, um, third undescribed uh, way? There's multiple ways you could take me out. Um, some of them I can't say on stream because uh, PG-13. It's on me and we'll go anywhere you like. So think about what you want to do, okay? I have to decide. I'm paying, so you have to choose where we go. It's only fair. Uh, okay, fine. I'll think of something. You fidgeted, you fidgeted around in your seat for a moment and noticed Spencer was still watching you. What is it? Dude. Do you want to come in for a bit? Maybe Maria's cooking dinner and you could stay like, stay for that if you like. And if she's not, 
that, uh, well, we could just chat with her or something. Eh, sure, I won't stay too long, though. We do have class tomorrow. Okay. Maria, I'm home. Welcome home. <clears throat> Welcome home, Mark. Oh, I, and I see Spencer's with you, too. Oh, it's a pleasure to see you, Maria. What are you boys up to? Just finished practice for the day. I, I was wondering if you were going to be cooking anything for dinner tonight. And if you were, if it was alright for Spencer to join us? Why, of course I'll be cooking if we have company. I can make something quick and easy tonight if you two are hungry now. No rush here. Mark kind of sprung this one us both. That's quite alright. It'll give me something to do tonight. Hmm, I think I'll make some chicken pasta for dinner. That sounds good for you, too. Ooh, chicken pasta. Yes, I love chicken pasta. Yes, ma'am, that sounds great. Oh, my, don't call me ma'am. Just call me Maria. Just call me Cat Mama. It makes me sound so old. I'll leave you two to whatever, and I'll call you when dinner's ready. It shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. Okay, thanks, Maria. How about you? Also, I just want to thank you guys for staying at the stream. Oh, why didn't you eat dinner? Oh, you didn't eat dinner? Sorry to hear that. Uh, sorry to hear that, um, Snake Lord. Um, also, but I did want to, real quick, like, thank you guys for uh, watching the stream for as long as you have. Um, I know it's been kind of long. And I really appreciate you guys sticking around for the whole ride. It uh, means a lot to me. Uh, a real lot to me, in fact. So, thank you. <clears throat> How about you show me your room, then? Uh, oh, sure. Spencer. Spencer, what are you gonna do to me? Uh, don't hurt me! I'm a young, fragile boy! Here we go. It's not much, but it's enough for me. You don't need a lot of things- <clears throat> You don't need a lot of things as long as you're comfortable, right? Yeah, you're right. I have everything I need, really. Place to stay. A bed. My computer and phone. Seems like a nice bed, too. I'd say you're pretty lucky to have found this place. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Snake Lord. I really appreciate that. It's very nice. It's very nice to hear that. It's people like you that keep me keep keep me going through my um, my YouTube as I slowly try to build up my YouTube career. It's people like you that keep me going. Since you, ne since you never told me about your situation. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have anything to hide from you anymore. Seems to be the case for the both of us. I would have told you how I felt about you before telling you about where I work, though. I really didn't want you to... Well, as long as you're enjoying... As long as you're actually enjoying the stream, Bad Coon, nope, you know, I appreciate you supporting it, but I also want you to enjoy it. Um, and I'm always open to if there's something... If there's any advice you could recommend or anything that you would like to see more or less of, etc. Uh, I'm all ears. I'm more than willing to hear what you have to say. <clears throat> I really didn't want you to find out, but I guess in the end, it worked out pretty good, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, really did. Spencer sat at the foot of the bed and motioned for you to sit beside him, and you obliged. I was thinking, if you maybe tomorrow, if you want to stop by, I'll be working. I'll just be on the floor serving drinks, so you won't get a show out of me this time. And since it's during the week, it tends to be a lot slower. It'll help the time pass by. You're asking me to come to your work now? Well, it does get boring sometimes. Alright, alright, I'll go. Good. Sure you're not going to be putting on a show this time, though? Yeah, not this time. I don't think you'll see another show like that for a while. At least at the club, anyway. What's that supposed to be? Nothing, just don't expect to see me with anything less than my pants and suspenders while I'm at work. Anyway, come around 7 and I'll take a break. I get off at 11 so I can bring you back home after. And then Thursday we'll go out somewhere, just the two of us. Sounds like fun. I'll actually have something to really look forward to now. Same here. Though I can't help but wonder how things will differ from when I normally hang out with him. I feel like I know a lot about Spence, but maybe there's a lot more I still don't know. He leaned lightly against you as you sat in silence. You wanted to hold his hand again or just push him back on the bed and lay with him. But tried to tap on your door and Spencer jumped up instantly. Dinner's about ready if you two want to set the table for me. Okay. I, I guess we should head out there. Yeah, let's help her out. Just have a seat, Spence, and I'll get the dishes ready. It's just the three of us, so it's nothing I can't do alone. Sure, I'll just wait then. 
You gather dishes from the kitchen and lay them out on the table while Maria finished prepping the food. By the way, I think this is the longest stream I've ever done. Well, the last one was the longest I've ever done. I think the longest one I've ever done was about two hours, which was something to do with love. If you have not seen that video, um, give it a look. It's on my uh, playlists. It was actually a pretty good game, and I had a lot of fun doing that one, too. I had to do a lot of girls' voices, which, uh, which, the, which despite me being so fragile, it's not something I can quite do so easily. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Give me a lot. Give me, give me the lot that you got for me. You know, give your, give your old Papa Bear a line. And, uh, I'll see how the day's going. I might actually do a little bit of a, a Dastra. Uh, not right now, probably later on tonight. I might actually do a Dastra, too. Um, and uh, you guys already did so much for me today. If you don't show up, that's completely fine. It's just for me to get a feel for the game. I hear so much about it. And I'm like, you know what, why not? Uh, probably later today, though. I think I'm gonna be focus- I think I'm gonna be going back to a stream format. Uh, I, I have a lot more fun doing streams. <laughs> Oh, wait. There is the line, so... Oh, you said it to... Uh, wait, where's the line at? What line? <laughs> Snake, I don't see the line. What Do you mean the one you just posted? There is the line? What, the laugh? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? I hate you so much. Oh, I fucking assholes. Uh, All right, hold on. <laughs> Give me a second. Alright, 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 alright. Nah, I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it now. I was practicing. Jeez. Swiggity swaggity, I'm coming for that fucking booty. Oh my god. Wait, so much. I'm, I, I, hope you, I hope you had your, your fun. I hate you. Ah. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> you guys. <laughs> uh, when you finish that, alright, let me hurry up and finish, because after this day I gotta end. Especially if I'm gonna do a Dastra. I, I don't even have a Dastra downloaded, I have to download a Dastra. When you finish setting up the table, she placed a large dish of pasta in the center of the table with a plate of chicken beside it. There we are, dinner is served. It looks, it looks and smells amazing, Maria. Thank you so much for this. It's my pleasure. I'm sure you both practice hard today, so a good meal afterwards is always needed. Now, eat it while it's hot. Don't hold back either. As you can see, I've made plenty for us all. Snake, let me finish the game. I'll say it before I leave. I'll finish. I'll say it before the stream ends. Of course. You're surprised to see Spencer dive into the chicken with gusto and pile pasta on top of it. He had enough food to surprise you since he normally didn't eat as much when you were around him. Ah... Uh, it's another another person that can stuff their face and still have still have what like the best fucking body. Oh, I hate people like that. Cause I eat one thing and I gain weight. I can't eat anything and I gain weight. And these guys are just like, oh my gosh. Sorry, Spence, you're really wolfing the food down. Breathe a little, else you might choke. I love chicken, and this is some of the best I've had in a while. I tend to keep my meals at home pretty basic, so getting to have something like this is a real treat. My compliments to you, Maria. 
It's so simple, really. Some breading and seasoning, fry it up, and that's it. Paired with this pasta, it's a really filling dish. Maybe we should make a bowl for him to take home, too. There's still plenty left. Good idea. I'll go ahead and prepare an extra bowl for him. Oh, you don't have to do that. Nonsense. Nonsense. We have plenty of it, so since you're enjoying it so much, you should take some home. <laughs> if you insist, I'll gladly take some with me. Of course you will. I wouldn't take no for an answer. Maria vanished into the kitchen and returned right away with a bowl, filling it full of food for Spencer to take home. Aw, oh, now I'm getting hungry. But I, well, I gotta do some some errands real quick anyway. Oh, man. But, I mean, it's gonna be fast food. If I go anywhere, it's gonna be like a fast food joy. I want real food. <laughs> Dude, you're so lucky. I wish I could do that. I really wish I had a metabolism like that. I need to go start going to the gym more. I just, really, my biggest issue, I'm gonna gain some muscle. Muscle mass. There we go. This should be enough for a meal for you. Thanks. It'll be more than enough for me, I'm sure. Since we're done eating, can I help you with the dishes? You cannot, I'm afraid. As a guest here, you aren't allowed. There isn't much to clean up, so I'll take care of that. I keep up with it while I'm cooking, so aside from the dishes right here, there's nothing else to do. And don't try arguing with her about it, because that won't work. I won't argue this time, but you can expect to fight next time. Oh, that means I'll have the pleasure of cooking for you again. Hopefully you can expect to see me a bit more often. He gave you a sideways glance and grinned, and you knew Maria picked up on that right away. You blushed and looked down at the table. Really? Then Mark just needs to let me know whenever you're going to drop by so I can cook for us all again. Well, see, the thing is with somebody like Dozer is that I don't mind that. Dozer is like he's a big guy, but he's also bulky. It's not just big. He's got bulk to back it up. Like, that's what I'm saying. If I have to be big, I would like to have bulk with it. I don't mind being big. I just want to have some bulk to go along with it. I mean, I am stronger than I look, but that's not saying a lot. <laughs> Oh, I love muscles too. I I'm a weirdo though. And like some, there could be one day I'm liking muscles, and there could be another day that I'm liking like, sh uh, and another day I might be into like skinny, shrawny dudes. I I don't know. I'm a weirdo like that. Just that's just the way it happens sometimes. So, like I said, one minute I'm loving Coach, the next minute I'm playing Mori Natsu, and I'm like, ooh, Shun, like Shun, you can't do this to me. So it all depends. I'll keep that in mind. I do need to run for now, though. I have some work I need to do for a couple of classes tomorrow. <laughs> oh my gosh! Then I do hope. Then I do hope you'll be by again soon. I'm, sh I'm sure I will be. Thanks for dinner, Maria. Thank you for the extra to take home as well. You're welcome, Spencer. Be safe on your drive home. Will do. You want to walk me out, Mark? Oh, sure. I'll be back in a moment, Maria. She's a really good... She's a really good cook. That food was delicious. Yeah, everything she makes is great. I'll have you over again soon. And I'll try to make the leftovers last a couple of meals, but I'm not sure I'll be able to resist. I'll see you in class tomorrow. And be sure to think about what you want to do Thursday, alright? That's all up to you. Ugh, I can't believe you're making me choose. What if I pick something you don't like? It's fine, Mark. I'm sure you can't do that. Uh, listen... It's not about where you go. It's about who you go with and the time you spend together. That's all that matters at the end of the day. So Spencer is just worried about spending love, is spending some quality time with us. That's all that matters. It's fine, Mark. I'm sure you can't do that. But he chuckled to put his paws on your shoulders, centering you, centering you in front of him. Relax. Don't stress out too much about it. Just think of it like we're going to hang out somewhere like normal, all right? Whatever you decide on, I'm sure we'll have a good time. Okay. Okay, I'm out now. Be safe. Be safe. Text me when you get home. <laughs> sure, I'll text you later. Instead of releasing you, he slid his hands down to your back and pulled you against his chest in a tight, all about, all about awkward hug. You hugged him before, but it was always a quick bump normally. This time, he held you there for a moment, and you were happy in a strong embrace. It feels good to do this, finally. He released you and stepped back. Oh, kiss, 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 kiss. I'll text you in a bit. Mm hmm. I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit then. You felt a twinge of sadness now, watching him leave, but you were feeling elated with the events of the day. When you turned to go back in, you saw Maria standing in the doorway, waiting for you. I can only assume think. I can only assume things are going good between you two. We we have a date Thursday night. Yee! I knew it would be. I knew it would go good. He's making me choose where to go though, and I don't have any anywhere. 
You'll figure something out. Just do something fun with him. Now, all of you, all of you, go relax. I'm sure you have lots of plans now. Oh, Maria's like Maria is the best, most supportive mom. I love her so much. She she's so supportive. Maria shoved you back into the building to usher you. She would be she's literally that mom that you would like. Her son would tell her she's gay, and she would just be so ecstatic about it. Like she'd be, you know, her daughter, you know, whatever, tell her, you know, and she'd be she would be perfectly fine with it. Okay, I have to wait till we go to date, I guess. Maria shoved you back into the building and ushered you off to your room. Something fun. I have no idea what I can do. There's not a lot to do around here, but I have to figure something out. <laughs> Maria, don't take out the baby! <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude, you're spot on! Do you RP? Because you're really spot on with character motivations. Holy crap. That is spot on what I can imagine her doing. You're really good at that. And tomorrow night, he wants me to come back to the club. Today has been quite a ride. Who knows what's going to happen then? Day nine. Okay. It's the worst. It's the sad part of the stream where... Well, you know what? Let's finish the dream sequence and then we'll stop. Huh? This place looks familiar. I feel like I've been here before. You wandered through the trees, admiring the scenery. You were on a dirt path, but you didn't know where it was leading you. Everything was peaceful with the sun filtering through the leaves of the trees all around you. Off the path, you could hear something. To you, it sounded like someone chopping wood. You strayed away from your path to locate the source of the noise. Just be on the trees, lining the path, you found the cause of the sound. Oh, it's you, Spencer. Hey, Mark, glad to see you're here again. Again, I've been here before. You don't remember. Spencer walked towards you after tossing his axe aside. It appeared that he had been cutting logs in half before you showed up. His fur glistened with sweat, and he ran his wrist along his brow to wipe away any before it dripped into his eyes. <laughs> You were here not too long ago with me, just a few days ago, even. Really? Why can't I remember that? Good question. I think this would be something you wouldn't forget. As a matter of fact, you left so abruptly. Where were we? He grinned at you and pushed you back against the tree. Remember anything yet? No, I really don't remember, Spence. What are you doing? Just shut up. Spencer pushed his body against you, pinning you to the tree before pressing his lips against yours in a passionate kiss. Uh, all right. We're gonna end here now, guys. We've been we've been streaming for I've been streaming for uh two hours and thirty seven minutes. Oh, I did I did promise I would say that line before we go. So give me one second. All right, we're going to get the line out the way. Throw us a little, but, you know, we're going to... Ooh, swiggity swaggity, I'm coming for that fucking booty. <laughs> All right, there you go. Are you happy now? Did I, did I please you enough? No. All right. <sighs> well, as I said... I'm going to end the stream now. Let us save the game real quick. Oh my gosh, I have so many save files now. But, um... I do hope everyone enjoyed the stream. I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, over two hours. Um, I... W um, I will see... Oh, that's fine. You were, you were perfectly fine, Snake Lord. Um, I had a lot of fun. A so much fun. I'm just like, oh, I love feeling like a diva. I'm getting all scandalous and hot in here. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Um, I did have a lot of fun, though, doing this. Um, I may, I have to think about it, I may do a little bit of a drafter today. Um, I did do, I probably will do a drafter. If I do a drafter today, it will be a lot smaller. Um, it probably will be maybe like an hour, just because I've already spent almost three hours doing this. Um, if any, if you, uh, I will make sure I post it 
um, when I start to stream Snake Lord and everybody else, I will post it in the groups I'm in in Discord, um, as well as my Twitter. If you haven't already, like I said, feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. And also, don't be afraid to share with uh, other people to let them know about the stream. It helps me grow as a channel, and it helps me bring you more wonderful content and know what you guys want to enjoy. Uh, tomorrow, maybe. I think I will, but I had to double check. I do work tomorrow a long shift, but I am off on Sunday, so it wouldn't. So either I will try tomorrow, if not positively Sunday, I will be streaming. Um, but like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. I'm so glad to be the leader of the pack, or more should I say, King Fallen Wolf, which is actually my, uh, which is actually my Twitch account, King King Fallen Wolf. Um, this has been Fallen Wolf. And you have, and uh, this has been uh, the Fallen Pack. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.